Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome to a new game on my channel, Dark Souls 2. This is my third um, blind playthrough in all the FromSoft games. I started with Elden Ring as a completely fresh-faced noob, and we recently completed Dark Souls 1 blind on the channel about a week ago. So I've had a week between games, but I'm raring to start this game. Dark Souls 2 seems to be the most divisive of all the Dark Souls games. Like, 50% of people say it sucks, and 50% of people seem to, like, really like it. So, uh, that makes me more excited to play, because I, I really want to learn what all the fuss is about. Um, this is completely blind. Uh, if you're new to my channel, 99% of the games on my channel are fully blind. I haven't even seen screenshots or like pictures on the Steam store for this game. Um, so let's just get stuck in. I've been looking forward to this. You've no idea. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky forgotten land. I assume this is set com just simply in the same universe as Dark Souls 1, clearly. A lot of people told me this doesn't really connect with the story of 1 and 3, like it's almost like a separate story. So I'm extra intrigued as to how it ties in. Where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. Okay, we've got melting faces. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. Fuck off, creepy crawly. The that feeds on souls are hollow. So we are playing a hollow dude just like the first game, okay. Long ago, oh. in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. Far to the I north. They called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. A great king. No, how could you be? That's a good question. How could I be? Today, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Creepy smile, thanks for introing me to the game, crazy lady. Needs a dental hygiene appointment. So quite a few people have said this the story of Dark Souls 2 really is like disconnected from 1 and 3. But it must take place in the same universe. We are playing a hollowed guy just like the first game. By the way, I played the remastered version of the first game, and there is no remaster of 2, so I'm expecting the graphics and so on to sort of go backwards a little bit in quality. So I'm fully expecting that, and I'm going to embrace it. I'm liking the cutscene, though. What the fuck is going on? Like a moth drawn to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. I'm trying to grasp as much meaning as possible here. The fate of the cursed. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm trying to take in as much meaning as possible. The first game was very lo loose and vague with a lot of story details. Um, oh, here we go. Just to make sure all my settings and controls worked, I have started a new game previously, skipped through all the cutscenes, so I haven't seen any of that before, and just just to get the controls right. And I'm glad that I did, because I had one hell of a time with technical problems getting this game working and my controller working, so we'll get more into that in a little bit. But yeah. So I'm expecting this game technologically I'm have to lower my volumes, but yeah, I'm expecting this to be not as polished as the remaster of the first game because clearly that was a remaster, so it wouldn't be fair of me to compare graphics, etc. So I'm expecting this to be a little ropier, a little older quality, um, but I'm expecting it and I welcome it. Okay, um, let me know on volumes, by the way. It should be okay, but it's a bit loud in my ear. Um, so, yeah, I've been this far and just walked around here in circles to make sure my controller works, because basically, the, for, the, for the like two days straight, my controller wouldn't work or the camera would spin endlessly and I, I came in, I ran into a bunch of problems. Long story short, I fixed most of those problems, so I've got a working controller now, but the best I can do is I've got Xbox, um, I've got Xbox button prompts, but I'm using a PlayStation controller. I've never owned an Xbox. I I've figured out what like A, B, X, and Y are on a PlayStation controller. Fortunately for me, it seems like the controls are identical to Dark Souls 1. Right down to your left buttons doing like parry, etc. Dodging, rolling, all even the menu buttons are the same, so yeah. Now, I try to be as thorough as possible in these games. Um, some people laugh at me when I say that because I miss so much. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay even more attention in Dark Souls 2 than I did in 1. I'm going to read every item description. I'm going balls deep into the lore and the story. Um, before we start, after I finished the first game, I had a, I had a load of people asking me to um, react to or watch the Dark, so Dark Souls lore videos by Vati Vidya. Um, now, I'm not not going to watch them, um, but um, it's come to my attention some of them contain copyrighted music and so on, so I want to do a bit more research before I react to those. I've been assured that I'm fine saving it uh, uh, as long as I watch it before Dark Souls 3. It's kind of, it, it's loose as to when I should watch those. But uh, for now, I've just decided to start Dark Souls 2 because I've been raring to go. So, we've started without like a character creation, by the way. So I'm guessing that's going to happen at some point. Um, imported. Uh, for this first episode, I, forgive me, because the prompts are all wrong, it's going to take me a while to figure out what the fuck does what. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> we are beautiful. Okay, um, right. What the fuck? Do I have a um a description thing there? Right, hemp, hemp, marijuana hood that fully covers the face provides the protection from the elements and a little more. The cursed souls who wander the lands have a strange way of ending up here, as if drawn from afar by some force. We got sucked into a whirlpool thing. Is what we is what happened to us. Um, okay. So it's the same for everything. Okay. What else do we have? A thousand people across the entire playthrough of the first game warned me to level adaptation or whatever it was. Let's just quickly go through the descriptions of everything here. Level overall attribute strength consumes souls to level up, just like the first game. Vigor is health, stamina, um, at, uh, hang on, Vigor is health, endurance is stamina, vitality, an attribute that determines your maximum equipment load. Oh, that was tied in with stamina in the first game. Right, they've split them. Uh, you know, the stamina stat was a bit overpowered in the first game. I ended up putting more points in that than anything, and I, so I can see why they split them. 
attunement, I guess, just spell slots, I'm guessing. And boosts spell casting speed, something I never took advantage of in the first game. Apparently dexterity increased your casting speed in that game. Mm. So there are some stat differences. Strength, boost attack, yep, okay. Dexterity is your, yeah, same. Adaptability here is the crux of the issue with Dark Souls 2 as far as I'm aware. Raises various attributes to ensure one's survival. Boosts agility and various resistances. Intelligence is just magic stat, I'm guessing, and magic defense. And sorceries and faith is miracles. So similar setup, basically. Faith is lightning defense specifically. So yeah. I've got to say, that's a very vague description of a brand new stat, by the way, but as far as I can tell, a lot of the complaints about this game are something to do with dodging and iframes, you know, where you're immortal during a roll and it works differently. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but adaptation increases your iframe window, perhaps? So, what have I got in my inventory? Dark sign, loose. By the way, I'm playing this offline, uh, as offline as this game allows me. Unlike Dark Souls 1 and Elden Ring, where you can choose to start the game offline, there's no such option in this game. Uh, but in the settings, I, uh, I have set it to restricted. I'm hoping that means no one's going to invade me and kill my ass, because that's what would happen. I suck at PvP, and it's why I play offline. Um, so yeah, loose souls. I never used that in Dark Souls 1. Souls are too precious to me. Banish phantoms, return to your world, restore the- so that those are your PvP items, basically. Shit. Controls. Um, there we go, so that's my- right, okay. Well, let's wander around. Um, in my testing of controls, I never left this circle, so... I did see a few things wandering around, um, but they didn't attack me. Fuck me. That is some loud grass. <laughs> Hello? Dude. Okay, I'm guessing that's death right away. Oh. So are these- I, I played offline, but are these like real people or- like, memories of actual players. If, if I see a ghost, is that an actual person right now playing the game? By the way, if it turns out that that adaptability stat and rolling is such an issue, I might just go balls deep into parrying. If that is indeed even a thing in this game. Jesus Christ. I'm definitely might have to turn the volume down. You know, it's funny. I haven't seen any of those things scurrying around. Can hear one. Yeah, there was these weird creatures scurry uh, wandering around when I was testing my controls and cameras and uh, shit. Can't see any. Well, it's fine. I'm going to try my best to be thorough but quick in this game. Because thorough to me ends up being just really slow. These things, hello. I couldn't tell what they were. Um, but they, they, they seem friendly. Hello. Hello. I should make sure I'm like my... I might have to move my camera and so on. It depends, like, where the UI elements are and shit. You know what? I think the right side of the screen is actually good for my camera. Even more so than the first game. I'll keep it there. Um. Ooh, hello. In Dark Souls 1, I basically didn't attack anything that didn't attack me. That's not in my... Uh, well, I'm not evil. I don't want to kill something that's not trying to kill me, so... Yeah, I didn't kill the Priscilla boss in the Painted World. And I'm not going to kill these friendly cat-dog things. That's definitely a, a cat-dog hybrid. <laughs> Got a 
passes way through there. Um, right. Can somebody let me know just right off the bat in episode one how much, how, like, how many illusory walls are in this game? That's something that a lot of people shit on me on in the first game. Missing walls or not hitting every single wall to find the illusory walls. Hello? Um... Right, I can see gigantic bear paw prints. Let's go across the bridge first. Oh, that's what an item looks like. Okay. Cool. I'm looking forward to getting stuck in. I've really been curious about what all the complaints have been about with this game. I really have. Well, let's just, um... Ooh, hello, people in red. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. Is that the one by the fire it's talking? An undead. I mean, your face is not much to look at either. To play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? There was an old deer in the opening cutscene. You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes. You'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. I mean, that is what this I do. Is the fate of the girl. <laughs> I will be consuming a lot of souls. To be fair, they're not wrong. Creepy old what is witches. Your name? That's a good. That's a good question. Try to recall your name. Uh. Um. Oh, gotta whip out the old keyboard. I'm just gonna go with what I was in the first game. I am the same person in heart and soul. By the way, the end. If you didn't see my playthrough, you go and watch my first Dark Souls game playthrough. Um, I ended that game with the to link the fire ending, where I sort of gave my life, I think, to rekindle the kiln of the first flame. This is fucking loud music. Anyway, fluffy. <laughs> it's what I am. Okay. I hate to be a Billy Bastard. There, right, that, yeah, con that doesn't work well with controller. <laughs> okay, Fluffy, are you sure of your name? I certainly am. <laughs> At least you know your own name. These old witches have a larger role to play, I can already Here's tell. your reward for sharing. Some souls? It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Me? Think back. Deep into your past. It's kind of round and jolly looking, a bit like yes. me. Yes. It's an effigy of you. Yes, I was right. Okay. Right, I see. Okay. 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 Class and... G oh, there's a gift like in the first game. Dude, what a hunk. What a sexy hunk of a man I am. With no testicles. Okay. Class and gift. Class. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. I'm guessing it, the only difference is starting equipment and stats, I guess, just like the first game. Jigotja Warrior. 
I do want a shield and I do want to be parrying, I'll be honest. I, it's something I didn't do in Elden Ring, my very first uh, FromSoft game. I did no parrying and I just dual wielded halberds and was a jump attack maniac. Um, I took things a bit more serious in Dark Souls 1 and I enjoyed myself because of it, so I do want a shield if I can. Um, I'm not too in interested in magic for my first playthroughs, I do want to be a melee kind of guy, so I'm going to say no to the int and faith. And fuck me, this is loud. <laughs> I'm going to turn the music down once I get out of this screen. Until then, enjoy the music. I mean, Warrior is sounding pretty normal and nice. Knight doesn't have a shield. Uh, that's Swordsman's... Is that a... No, that's two swords. That's not a parry dagger. Um, because a parry dagger is something completely different. Bandit is like a Viking. Christ. Heavy armor and a Viking, and you get a bone arrows. Uh, cleric... Just all automatically, I'm not interested in cleric, sorcerer, etc. Explorer gets a ring to use. And a sp right, they get some spells as well. Okay. I just know that I'm not interested. I'm a melee guy first and foremost. So my, my blind playthroughs will always be a melee character. And deprived as naked, gotcha. So it's, it's the top four. Bandit does look badass. I'm going to go with... I'm sorry if this is boring, but I'm going to go with the shield. I'll take a, I'll take a quick look at health, strength, um, right. Oh, you start at different levels. Possibly. But three stats, I think. Strength, health, um, in the first game, I piled into strength, not dexterity, but I kind of regretted it by the end of the game, and I really like... I, I upped the dexterity to match my strength. Endurance, vitality... Honestly, it's like the first, like, six stats. All these... It's just these last ones that I'm not interested in. But here's the crux of the issue. Five adaptability. Let's just have a quick look here. Oh my god, Knight starts with way more. Okay, Warrior has five, nine, oh my god. Way less strength, though. Um, and Dex, actually. Hmm. Six. Way more Dex. Okay, yeah, these two are faster, lighter attacks. I'm gonna go Warrior for the shield, and I'll just put my first few points into adaptability just to catch up. Gift. Um. Now the choice of gift in the first game is a big deal because didn't the um? Oh, sorry, I've got to turn the sound down, anyway. That music is so loud. Fucking hell. So. In the first game, you get a key or something that let you get to an, a later area of the game faster. And it, it was kind of... You definitely didn't want that for a blind playthrough. I'm hoping there's nothing like that in this game. Life ring. This ring of old... Right, slight increase to HP. Human effigy is what that witch gave me. Oh, it shows in the slots as well. Okay. Returns the hollow to life. Um... Well, I'm curious to know if the benefits of humanity are the same in this game. So it allows PvP, which I don't care about, but also it allows invasions from NPCs. I want those. Huh. Healing wares. Various items used to cure poison and restore HP. Essential for new... So Drang... Dranglik... Dranglik is the world that we are traveling in. Interested. That sounds like temporary one-time use things, though, and I don't want that. Homewood Bone. Returned you to the last bonfire restaurant. Yeah. Having one may ease your mind. These all sound like temporary, which I don't want any basic temporary items. Seed of a tree of giants. A seed grown from a tree of giants. Inedible. I wonder if that's like a plus one to my healing flasks or something like that. Um, so I'm not too bothered about that. Bonfire ascetic. Toss into a bonfire to raise the strength of nearby foes. 
fuck that. Only for those who... Right, okay. Nope. Nope. Petrified something. A uh, simple petrified lump. It may be of some use someday. Oh, I bet that's got some deeper meaning later on. The, yeah, the first game had a couple of those which... I, I went with the witch ring. Or the old witch ring. And that turned out to be a great help because I, I joined the Chaos Spider Lady Covenant and I stuck with them to the end of the game. And that allowed me to talk to the Lady Spider. Um, it's, it's a toss-up between Human Effigy... Yeah, Human Effigy and Petrified Something. If, surely, if I don't get that, I still get a way of turning human. Um, I wonder if that will let me turn human anywhere by using the item, rather than having to be at a fire somewhere. Someone did tell me the fires were few and far between in this game. Like there's one at the start of a whole area of the game and that's it. Um, but I'm not too bad. I think I'm going to go with Petrified Something, just because it sounds... Um the most unique, like it's got some story or side quest element to it, so I'm going to go with that. Why not? Fi oh, hang on, um, do Hang on, I don't want a complete creation, I want to do, um, body, etc. Is that all the same? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to go too deep into this, um, we can barely see ourselves anyway. Uh, but we are going to be male. Build. Can you be like onion head, like nice and round? <laughs> uh, thick boy. Damn. Dad booty though. Um, well, I don't want to be a skinny little boy. I think, yeah, honestly. It's standard. Physique. Oh. Now you can't see that, but clearly we're going tough as fuck. There you go. Face. Dude, I look like something out of a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> <sighs> right, okay. Um, oh, bloody hell. I don't want to go too deep. I'll, I will make a couple of changes, though. Like, hair... Damn! Okay. You know what? Shall I just try and look like me? Minus the blue streak of hair. Uh, let's just get as close to me as humanly possible. So that. Uh, dude. Oh, you've got some fucking creation options in this game. Da 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 da. Oh, uh, there isn't much in the way of sort of standard brown. I think that's the closest we're going to get. Oh. Uh. You know what that'll do. Uh, da -da -da -da. Eyebrows. <laughs> you can change the colour of the eyebrows independent. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. But I do need a good, important beard. I am due a shave, actually. But, uh... <laughs> My guy's lacking a chin, have you noticed? <laughs> I need the beard just to make my chin look bigger. There we go. At least I look like a gruff man. Um, so what's this home map? Right, here we go. This might give me a good old chin here. Oh my god. Automatically that's better than the default. Hang on, I've just lost the default here. If I go with one of these. He looks sad, I'll be honest. He eh, looks manly. That's what's important. There we go. Eye colour, right. I'm, I've got actual sort of hazel eyes, not that you guys can see. Uh, yeah, no, well, let's go with that, but let's throw in a little extra green, a little extra brown. There you go, perfect. Uh, tattoo. You know what? I'm vanilla. I'm good. Opacity. Oh, 
tattoo opacity. Okay, right, there we go. I think I'm good with that. Advanced setting. Uh, Fine-tune overall ballot. Oh my god, man. Well, I appreciate some good options, but, uh... Oh, right. What does this actually do? Does this give us more lines in our face or some shit? <laughs> oh, right. Jesus Christ, that... Right, you've got to stop for it to take an uh, effect, I see. Let's go with, like, a... Well, there you go. Sort of not too young, not too old. <laughs> Hormones? What the hell is this going to change? I don't see how that's more feminine than previous. But, okay. But we are a man. <laughs> Form emphasis. Oh, is this just jawline? Masculine? Right. What the fuck? How is that strong? What the fuck <laughs> am I looking at? Okay. Either he's like seriously worked out his face muscles, or that is just not strong. That's just weird. Let's go middle of the road. <laughs> Color emphasis. Skin color, skin color's fine. Um, okay. Shape. Dude. It actually, I mean, come on, I've just by pure look, my guy looks like a bit of a hunk there. It looks like Big Boss or like Solid Snake or something. I'm going with that. Um, can you change beard even more? No, you can't. Okay. Right, I see. Okay, well. We are a hunk of a man. Let us do this. It is my true self. <laughs> All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. Which curse? Oh, no different, I should think. Hmm. So we... Stand a chance. <laughs> Thanks. Well, you never know. <laughs> I'm getting some sort of Witches of Stygia, uh, Clash of the Titans, Witches like vibes here. Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your soul. Well, hang on. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over. Th this is almost breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> now I'm being laughed at because they know I'm going to die again. And this is like the developers taking the piss. <laughs> uh, the de developers of this game, just a group of old actual women. Achievement unlocked self recollection, reclaim flesh, and set out as an adventurer. Well, nice. Ah, oh, so what the fuck is happening to my dude? Right, that's just another dude. Okay. Can I kill the guy? <laughs> can, I, can I kill these witches? No, okay, let's not even try. I was going to say, hopefully we can go back out and check out the areas I didn't go to. Um. Oh, calm down. All right, we've got our first fire, but hang on just a second. That's the... right, that's the way. Okay, let's rest at the fire. Is that a bug? When you open a door, it, like, opens it twice. Bonfires are places of respite. Respite. You might also light torches on them. Oh, you can light torches. Uh, okay. So instead of, like, messages on the floor, some from players, some from de developers, you've got little gravestones. Okay. Am I pressing the wrong button to do that? Why, why is he, like, swiping at the air every time? Right, so you can change your spells. Oh, Firekeeper's Dwelling, so that's what they are. They're a gang of Firekeeper witches. 
Okay, I see. Burn? Is that like perma destroy some items? You have no items to burn. Okay, Tra travel. What? Oh, you don't need a Lord Vessel in this game. Can you just, from the start of the game, fast travel? So this area is, by the way, it's called Things Betwixt. So is this like some between world, some border world uh, of this game? Well, hello there. First item I want to loot. Hang on. Uh... Okay, um... Oh. Ah, yeah, I see, I see. Soul of a lot, okay. Torch times one. Um, right, let's sort out my inventory. Figure out the system. Broken straight sword, just like the first game. You know what, I'll, I'll read them. Why the fuck not? Nearly useless, but nearly useless trumps empty-handed, okay. Uh, Iron Palmer. Unusual as a foreign origin, lightweight despite its iron construction and sturdy despite a small size, but not sufficient to protect them from real danger. Gotcha. Um. Right, if those numbers are anything to go by. Uh. Hmm. Hang. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. There you go. Right. Uh. Parry and strike slash. Can I specifically see protection, like damage reductions. Oh, there you go. Right, hang on. Physical attack. Ah, reductions on the right. Gotcha. So this... I only used shield in the first game that had 100% physical reduction. That's only got 85, so I will take some damage. Gotcha. And then I'm guessing that's magic, magic reduction, fire, lightning. In fact... Dark reduction, poison, bleed, what the heck, is that like occult? <laughs> uh, petrify, curse, stability, that was a big deal in the first game. Um, durability, weight, okay, gotcha. Now what are these, life gem? Um, small stone made of crystallized souls, gradually restores a small amount of HP. Oh. Often found near abandoned corpses as if it were remains of the soul. Is this like your Estus flasks? Or is this a temporary little thing? Hmm. Soul of a lost and da, 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 da. Petrify something. Uh, well, I'm not gonna not read it. An, an unidentified petrified object. Pleasant to the touch despite its looks. A rare and peculiar thing to be certain. It'll unlock a door or a tree or something later. I can feel it. Um, I don't want to accident like, I don't want to quick use one of these accidentally. Um, you can go two-handed for more damage. Block. Parry. Light attack. Heavy attack. Um, oh, you do your jump attack. Um, right, it's not a kick in this game, it's like a, almost like a parry, actually. Or just like a backhand, <laughs> backhand to the face. Right, we can keep going, but I, I feel like I'm missing a bunch of shit behind me. Oh, you know what, that's definitely a way to go, let's, let's go backwards first. Uh, can I go upstairs? Yeah. Can I ransack their house and steal all their shit? <laughs> I can break their pots. Hey, first chest. I wonder if there's some chest monsters, like traps, in this game. Human effigy. Oh, well, I... Right, okay. Uh, okay. So that effigy I could have chosen as one of my things was just one of many items you can buy or whatever. Okay. I'm glad I went with that petrified thing. I'll save going human. Um, 
give me some feedback if you just like the first game. You do need to do that for NPC invasions. <laughs> You've got some jowls, my lady. And who are they, frankly, to say I look hollowed and ugly? You must go on a journey without rest. But, but oh shit. The will is yet unbroken. Then you may return here. I missed that line, damn it. To start again. With a clean slate. You can start again with a clean slate. Is there further meaning in that? Now go along. Now go along. Okay, okay, okay. They've all got something else to say. <laughs> Duh, stop laughing at me! Wench. Yeah, nothing to say now. You? She's the nicest looking of the bunch. This is a limbo. A link between Drunk Lake and the outer world. Right, I'm definitely reducing the fucking music. Uh, I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? Good question. Is she, she decayed kingdom? She's got a northern English accent, which is where I'm from, north of England. Right, I've got to reduce the music. It's overpowering at some points, but then voice has got to go up. Um. I did this in the first game. The voices were far too quiet. Um, I'm just... Uh, let's try that. Music a bit quieter, voices a little bit louder. Let's see how we go. My name is Millibeth. The Millibeth. Were once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. Right, so she's not a fire keeper. This is what my mother did. And her mother before her. And so on. Okay, she's, she's like a caretaker of these. So she just said they were fire keepers. So they're not anymore? The old women were keepers of the fire. Were keepers of the fire. Okay. But now, the fire shows signs of fading. Oh my god, are we going to have the same thing again? The kingdom is beset by hollows. Is this game going to end this exact same way with us like rekindling the fire to keep the world going and shit? <laughs> the old women are sisters. Oh. I am told there was a fourth. Oh. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost, scattered to the winds. I love the English accents, by the way. I feel represented. So is the fourth sister that isn't here, is, was that the extra old uh, woman in the opening cutscene? Because... I know it's a cutscene, but she did look f physically not like any of these three. So maybe that was the fourth one, and she's outside of this world. The old women. Okay. Anything else before I leave? Now go along. Okay, she's just laughing at me. Okay, right. Okay, gotcha. Another chest? Nope. I don't want some. I don't want to smash their shit up for no reason. I'm not a dick. <laughs> Sorry. They're just parts. Don't worry. So, so the, they were fire keepers. The fire is dwindling. It sounds very similar to the the premise of the first game. I do need to watch the lore videos. Like I said, I haven't watched them yet, but um, I've got a general gist of the happenings of the first game. You know, the world was the light and fire was fading, etc., and they needed me to sacrifice myself. To keep the world going, to keep the rule of the gods going, I get all that. Um, so yeah. Oh, can I get the item? Yes, I can. Small, sm small, smooth, and silky stone. Okay. All right. Are we gonna face some like bear boss or something immediately? Um, yeah, I'm going to try and go everywhere. I don't know if I should be going through the cave or here first. This seems almost optional, so let's go this way. Um, well, let's not go back on what I said. Let's read stuff. I did say I, I would, so 
Human effigy. Use this item to reverse hollering. It also weakens the links to other worlds. Oh! You see, in the first game, you reversed hollowing to go human, and that's what allowed PvP. So using this reverse reverses ho the hollow, but it weakens the link, preventing invasions and most cooperation. Peer closely in an effigy, and one begins to perceive a human... Okay. That sounds like the exact opposite of what hu going human did in the first one. Oh, right. Okay. Ah, I can just keep up the descriptions of everything. Oh, I'm going to keep that there all the time. Okay. Um. There we go. Slightly restore HP. Hmm. Maybe we'll get introed to Estus... Or the equivalent flasks at some point. Because if you've only got these little stones... I'm going to be shitting pants. Hello! Am I going to get demolished here? Because I've only got five adaptability and ain't no parrying a big bear monster. Can I walk up? <laughs> Hello! Death number one incoming. It kind of looks like an armadillo, upright and massive, doesn't it? Can I yank his tail? Or oh, hell. Is, is there tail weapons in this game as well, by cutting off tails? Um, well, I can lock on. I want that item behind him. Let's just keep walking. Let's check the vicinity out. Oh! Ah! Fucking hell, man! Let's get the item. Get the item. Get the item. Get the fucking item. Gold pine resin. That's lightning. Whee! Fucking hell, man! Jesus Christ. Why is the first thing I've got to fight this big ugly shit? Well, you know, you shouldn't... Oh, shit, man. Okay, is it? am I fighting this guy a bit too early? Because I'm doing fuck all damage. What's through here? Can I kill this? I think I might be able to kill this guy. Uh, I, I'd hate for it to turn out that this guy's actually friendly. If you can keep falling over, that'll be a great help. Thank you. Whoa, yeah, crazy bastard. This guy's getting all dizzy and shit. Well, so far I'm happy with the dodging. <laughs> Let's get my stamina back. Let's not get overconfident here. Right, okay, I can't even see, man. Let's just, um... Let's use the life gem, but I... Oh, it's it's gradual. Well, it is what it is, okay. Dude, the durability of this sword is fucked already, man. Um, I'm gonna two-hand... and just roll backwards and away from him. Because... Block the, the stamina drain when a block a hit is crazy. Oh shit, man. Oh god, that is that did even less damage. That that seems to be doing less damage, even though I'm two handing. Forgive me if these are like, I'm wasting life gems here, you, you know what I mean? But I want to kill this thing. What's that doing? Like, e no damage. The light attack is doing literally more damage than the heavy attack. Unless I'm doing something wrong.
This this guy does look like a massive like mole rat or something, doesn't he? E. Get around him again. He's got some reach on him. Right, okay. <laughs> this is going badly. His health doesn't go up when you lose him, though. If I had the patience, I could just keep losing him. And then just backstabbing him or something. Hello. Hello. Fucking hell! Jesus Christ. I'm so wasting all these life gems and so on, but who cares? In the face. Oh, he's doing uppercuts now. You know, that is a bit cheesy. He doesn't even try to attack you when you're under this. Which is fine with me. Oh, I knocked him over. I'm sorry. <sighs> Stay away. This is my first, like, proper kill of the game, and it's a massive uh, Cyclops mole rat. I mean, I don't mean to ruin your day. He did seem to be having just a grand old time before I came along. I'm already killing what could be innocent creatures. Yeah. I did a thing. Stone ring. Please tell me I did something good. <laughs> oh. uh, okay. Equipment. Um, rings? Oh, four slots up here. Right, okay. The beloved ring of the gallant shieldless Lothian. Was that big ogre thing the gallant shieldless Lothian? Formerly of Forosa, hits greatly reduce enemy poise. The effect may seem trivial. That doesn't seem trivial to me. But for those who comprehend how critical it is to exploit a hole in enemy defenses, the significance of this ring will be clear. Oh, right. I am so glad I killed this dude. Um, unless that troll thing killed Lothian of Ferosa, then it was Lothian of Ferosa. Dude, I used the wolf ring in the first game to great effect. It had the op. It, it gave me more poise. And this reduces enemy poise, but it's still just as critical. So my hits will... S um, I think it means it has a greater chance that their attacks will be interrupted. It's not inherently stumbling. Like, I don't think... I don't think it just it stumbles them easier, but it will interrupt their attacks easier or something like that. Well, um... Can I tell exactly how much it increases my shit by? Um, remove, X, Y, remove, okay, um, I need to see all my stats and shit. Uh, oh, where's my poise? Where's my poise? Equipment low, my poise, it's not on there, is it? Uh, well, can I get some poise? There's my poise. Uh, oh, I've got six, I'm guessing just from my medium armor or whatever. Um, Hang on. Before I even put it on. Shit, man. <laughs> I need to get used to this. Uh, where's my poise? Six. I've got 6.5 poise. Uh, well, hang on. No, there's two. There's two poises. You got your green poise and you got your blue poise. 
Oh, I can straight up go over to the right. Okay. Agility boosts ease of evasion and other actions. I'm guessing adaptation will increase that then, definitely. Um, so, poise. The ability to withstand the impact of attacks. Poise. Ability to withstand the impact of attacks. Total value for all equipped arm. Right. I'm guessing that's an inherent stat my character has, and then that's total, including any from armor. Gotcha. So that's my total. So... 6.5 total. Let's throw the ring on. Uh... 6.5 total. That did not go up. Oh, of course, it's not my poise, it's enemy poison. Right, gotcha. My bad. I understand. It breaks the enemy's poise faster. Well, I'm glad I did that. Let's continue. Let me know if that's the sort of thing that I'm going to really be glad that I got that. Loud car outside my house, as always. I think I'm definitely going to be grateful I found that later on. Can you hear that? That is an asshole outside my house revving his car engine. Dude, I, I, I can't... I, I wish I didn't live near such... Brash... Hooligans and arseholes, but I do, sadly. Right, let's go. You know, I'm in here trying to innocently record an episode of Dark Souls 2. An all-important first episode. And I've got people revving their car engines outside, like I'm, like, not, like I live by a racetrack. Anyway, what's going on with the torch situation? I'm sure it said... Um, Oh, I've got two lots of armor and shit. No, I don't. I got those from my class selection, didn't I? Yes. Okay. I'm sure it meant... Oh, fuck. Now look at the number of tabs. I'm sure it mentioned torch, unless that's just an inherent, like, thing that I have. Oh, I, uh... You know what? I do have a thousand souls. Can I spend them, or, uh... Oh shit! Right, no, 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 I won't burn the effigy. I'm good. Item box. Uh... Yeah. Nope, I'm good. I guess we learn to level up at some point soon. That's fine. My life gems didn't come back, by the way, so I am using temporary items down here. Which is upsetting. <laughs> but it's fine. Let's continue. We've got multiple fog doors here. Um, torch brazier. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, well, I'm not going to not go through it. It can't be a boss already. It's too early for a boss. Oh, hello. Tutorial system? I just got 200 souls for no reason. It, or there is two. Okay, let's really pay attention here. If there's one thing I'd, I'd fail to do, it's grasp tutorial basic shit. So RB is, I'm guessing, R1 on play, PlayStation control. It doesn't help when I've got different button prompts. But yeah, I've got it. Are these just your basic practice things? You missed. Right, hang on, let me just grasp the damage. 89 for a jump attack, 59 for a light attack. 70... for a power attack. Let me just try a power attack on this one as well. Uh, lock and release, yep. Change... hang on, change target while locked on. Um, So click it in to lock and release, or move it left, right, I see. Okay. I need multiple to practice that. Now let me practice just a power attack. It looks like it's a fixed amount in this game. 15, oh no, that was less. 15, yeah, okay. Well, jump attacks seem just as powerful in this game, which is good. 
dash and bash. Uh, hold. Direction. Right, okay, that's a sprinting. Oh, okay. I appreciate this little uh, thing. Can I light these? Like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> like I should have a torch or something. Gold pine resin, we know that. That's just lightning, I believe. Yeah. That's fine. That's, that's fine. Uh, I don't have anything else I kind of want to put on my bar, really. Unless I get a torch at some point. That first gravestone mentioned a torch, but I haven't got one yet. Shall I try? Oh, you know what? I'm starting to think that big fuck that I killed is that was actually really tough. Because one, one attack took my entire stamina bar to block. Ooh, can I backstab in this game just by doing a good old circle? Oh. Oh. You can. Okay. Right, it wasn't a backstab, but it was a fixed animation. I see. Cool. Okay. Another one of those big shits. Let's just sneak and read this one. This might be a backstab lesson. <laughs> yeah, it is. Critical hits. Shall I go 200 and see if it's different? Dude. That's like overkill. Well, let's climb. I definitely feel like I should be lighting these. Dagger? Uh, well, I'm more of a sword kind of a boy than a roguey dagger-wielding dude. But I'll give it a quick read. It looks like in this game, it's you've got an upgrade. There's only two slots for weapons, like two slots per hand in the first game. You've got three in this. Dagger. A standard dagger has only modest attack and short reach, but can be jabbed in rapid succession. With a powerful critical attack, this is a potent weapon in the hands of, of the capable. Uh, less damage. Uh, but you know what, I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I didn't try it. Uh, oh, it is fast. Roll. Oh, I'm one step ahead of you. You missed. Let's try rolling away. Let's try the tutorial, you know. Is he gonna get a melee weapon out? You know what? I'm, pff, that damage is pretty fucking high for a dagger. Hang on, it's higher than the sword. Even though it said it wasn't. Look. A light attack is 62 with the sword. It's, it's literally more damage. What is going on there? Physical attack. And then the bonus from my stats. Yeah. What the fuck is going on there? Why? <laughs> 80 damage plus 20. So that's 100 damage total. That's uh, 90. <laughs> It's supposed to be 10 less damage, but it's doing more damage. Um, anything else? That's just counter strength poise damage. Uh, just reduction of damage. Yeah, strange. I mean, I'll stick with the dagger, I guess. But that's weird. Yep, okay. It's the exact same controls, which I'm so happy about. As the uh, first game. If it was different controls, not only would it be just tricky inherently, I'd be having an absolute ball ache figuring out, like, Xbox versus PlayStation controls. Ooh, back step. Gotcha. Okay, hello there. Right, I'd love to do a parry if that arrow guy can fuck off. Oh, bad. Much bad. All of the bad. Right right off the bat, we're stuck at him. Am I okay? <laughs> At 
Let me get the timing of this down. Hang on. Okay. Bad. <laughs> Oh, okay. Right, okay. The I can tell already the parries work different in this game and they're more difficult. In the first game, you could do this thing where the, the instant, the frame that you saw them start to actually hit with the weapon, if you see what I mean. Like, ignore the wind-up of an attack. The second they started coming at you, if you tapped it, it would always parry. Um, but it, it looks like it's different in this game. You've actually got to time the swing of the parry. So there's a deal. You've got to hit it before they swing in this game, it looks like. Hmm. Okay. I don't have a ranged weapon, do I? Ah, oof. No, I don't. In the first game, I was completely against, like, um, bows and ranged weapons. I just didn't feel like using them, but I think I will in this game. Because there's a few enemies in the first game I wish I'd have, you know, had a strong bow to use against, like, dudes in the distance. I I'd love to know what the, the, the sort of kick attack is that isn't a kick. That one. I don't, I don't, does that just like break a shield stance? I'd love to practice more parrying. I want to become a parry master. <laughs> Bad. Come on. Bring it on. Motherfucker. Right, so they fall. Right, okay. So they just fall down on this game. Letting you kill him. <laughs> okay, then. Whew. Life gem. Right, okay. I'm... Use... Okay. Well... You see, how confusing is that? It's not X on PlayStation, it's Square. That's just confusing. But I might want to cool off with my use of these. Now, let me just quickly check that all is good with your recording. And then... Um, shit. Sometimes my game produces a delay. Uh, there you go. No delay. Perfect. Make sure we are all good. I've been going over an hour. I'm aiming for three hours per episode. I sort of... I started Dark Souls 1 with that very goal. And every episode ended up being four hours. I'm going to try and stick to three to make it more manageable. So let's keep going another couple of hours. Hello, right, okay, fog doors seem a bit more prevalent in this game. So not every fog door is going to be a boss. Move camera, okay, thank you. So this is one big old tutorial level. Uh, right, are we going to... You, you, give us food. What? Yes, you, give us Suki. Hang on, now, towards the end of, uh... Towards the end of Dark Souls 1, people... I, I figured out, no one told me, fortunately, so no spoilers in the chat, please, but, but I did learn about Snuggly the Crow, um, because apparently my game bugged out and he just wasn't there. He or she just wasn't there when I visited the appropriate bird nest um, towards the end of the game. I, I, I saw the nest went there just in like an end of game cleanup of the entire game, just to find any optional stuff before I ended the game. I found the bird nest, nothing happened, and then I left it, but people told me later that I, there should have been an NPC there. I'm guessing this is that bird. It's invisible, oh, from what I understand. It did say give us smooth, and I remember getting a smooth... Give it smooth. You, you... Give us you. Give us Suki. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't know what the crow did in Dark Souls 1, but hey, um... Smooth. 
What does it actually do? Slightly restore HP. Yeah, I'll just give it the stone, okay. Um, can I drop it and not use it? Okay, what's the difference between leave and... <laughs> Translation, sort of confusion. What the fuck's the difference? Leave or discard? Leave? Discard sounds like I'm destroying it. Leave doesn't. Let's put leave. Is that not in the... Oh, does that have to be in the... Um... Does that have to be... Did I put that... Right, it drops at your feet. I thought it might drop in front of me slightly. Have I got them balls up there? Because I can't click on that. Oh, no. Right, I, I get it. I didn't get off the menu. I see. Soul of... Oh, sh right. So if I drop the little smooth stone, they give me souls items. Okay. There must be, like, um, different trades, different hidden trades that you only know about once you give them an item. Well, so that's cool. I wish I could see the bird, though. Interesting. Uh, okay, we'll be killing that fucker down there at some point. Uh, okay. Oh, motherfucker. Hang on. Hang on. I need every shiny shiny. I wonder if they, can, they will tell you every item to give them as well. I only gave this... You know, when it comes to, like, funny voices, I can't help but imagine an actual human in a voiceover booth doing that voice. I just picture, like, a grown woman doing that voice. It's just hilarious. Anyway. Drop off. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, we're getting some good, uh... Light these sconces with a torch. I uh, need to loot me a torch at some point, unless I... Unless I have one and I don't know about it. I think it would fall under weapons. It, it did in the first game. But clearly, I haven't got a torch yet. I've got a, I've got a heal, man. Did I take fall damage then from that? Um. Oh shit. Uh, okay. No, I didn't, not from that fall. Well, let's... You know what, let's just continue with what's clearly the tutorial. I'll try and get through it a bit quick now I've figured this is all ju just tutorial. Let's try and speed it up a little bit. Right hand weapon two-handed, yep, I know already. L hold left? Ah, that's new. You can wield the left-handed sword two-handed. Shall I try that? Hang on. Let's whip him with a shield, shall we? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Club him in the face! Dude, that's new. I like that. So if I wanted to, I can go sort of non-lethal. Kind of. It's still pretty lethal, but you know what I mean. That's cool. Okay. And that's why you need a tutorial. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm finding so many sconces. I feel like I should have a torch by now. Wild dashing. Wild dashing. Oh, uh, ah, right, okay. Ah, you see, in Dark Souls 1, you just 
you held the roll key to sprint and then t tapped it fast to do the jump at the end, but it's different. You press in the left button. Right. Um, I'm just going to quickly run back for a second. I've got a strong ass feeling that I've missed a torch back where the witches are. Or like there's a, there's a lit one here. Can I do something with this? Oh, I've just got five. Right. Okay. So I just have a torch item. Okay. And um, then. Can I light one from any lit one, if that makes sense? I'm going to light them all. Why not? I wonder if there's an achievement for lighting every sconce in the game or something. Hey, I would do that if I was a developer. I like the uh, location. Kind of reminds me of a smaller version of the Ashen Lake. I like that the um, jump key is decoupled from the roll key in this. I do like that. You see, I'm already seeing some improvements over the first game. I've got to say. I know I haven't barely started combat yet. <laughs> um, and everyone has been saying, put Falcon points into adaptability. And don't worry, I know. I'm wondering how much of a difference it makes, though. If you've got light rolling, I mean... Can I set fire to the... <laughs> to the poor birds? You, you, give us smooth. You... Dun, 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 dun. Right, let's continue in here. Uh, can I restart the timer on this? Like pre like, you know what I mean? No. No, you can't, shit. Oh, you No, you can't, that's a bit odd, but yeah, okay. Alright. Sconces. I'm getting sort of amnesia vibes for some reason. Like I'm safe near the light. Alright, God help us. Fucking oh, you see, right? First death, first death. Die for the first time. Right, you know what? I take back what I said about it being decoupled. You've got to press in the very key of the direction of your sprint. Does that make sense? The, the circle key is what sprints. But the left stick is the direction, so you've got to press in your direction key. See? I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that person. Uh, well, I'm not going to... Oh, has everything gone, on, gone and respawned? It's fine. It's fine. But yeah. You kind of obviously lose a lot of the control of your direction when you then press the sprint key in. You see what I mean? So you've got to make sure your your line is fucking perfect. Um. <sighs> right, let's not be a dick. Let's at least get my f f souls back. Christ. Oh shit. Um, can you attack with this sort of this thing? You can, but I mean, there's there's no point. Hmm. <laughs> I'm getting mixed feelings about the, the group attacks. If you see what I'm saying. Oh, oh, actually, you can flit between targets pretty quick. So yeah, I'm noticing no no humanity number up there, not even zero. But then it is empty, so maybe there's something that goes in there. Right, fucking hell. 
I need a long run up because I need the line to be perfect before I press the shit in. Now you see, I don't like that line. Good, that's good. That's good. Yes! Yes. <laughs> First death. You know, I had a, I had the tiniest thought in the back of my mind. What if? Against all odds, I complete this game without dying. <laughs> and then I tossed myself into a pit. Well, there's nothing else here. So. Let's waste some more life gems. Hang on, I've just got to go straight back. Dude. I might be going human just for the good looks. Cause Christ. Talk about the walking dead. Oh, hello. Ooh. Let's sip some of my budget lemonade. Um, still no option of the fire to, uh, to what you call it. Oh, have I lost it? Shit. Fuck. While fo right, falling attack, gotcha, understood. With shield equipped parry. <laughs> Easier said than done. I kind of want a fire though. Um, guard, right, that's the kick attack, that's not a kick, that one. It's a guard break, gotcha. Did I light a fire down there? Let's try a light attack. Okay, right, okay. Hang on, where the fuck am I right now? I thought I was, oh shit, I've got to balls this up. Oh, fucking hell, you can go fucking ham with the dagger. Christ. Right, okay, dagger is fast as shit, boy. I thought I was falling down to where I've already been. Cracked red eye orb. I think that's like a PvP item, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Gotta check. Okay. Oh, what does this one say? Jumping attack. I'm one step ahead of you. Well, I do want to light all these sconces. You know. Just because. Okay. Fucking hell, that was close. Right, let's go. What? One minute, 50 seconds? What's that about? Bullshit. I've got to light these things at near light speeds. Ironically. By the way, it's it's height of summer right now, so I am in a sweltering room, so if I look particularly shiny, you know why. I am sweating like a pig. That's why. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Right, tutorial number two complete. Sorry it's taken me so long to get through these. But I'd rather be... ...satisfied with my knowledge of the game, you know. Ooh, oh, fucking hell. Is that one of those googly eye cursed frog fuckers? This they're not actually eyes, I'm well aware, but they look like googly eyes. Okay. So if I bring out my shield, do I just lose the torch, basically? Um. Oh, can I not jump down here anyway? There's the fog door down there. Okay. Well, let's jump down. Hello there. Oh. A statue blocks your way. Um, a cursed man blocks my way, maybe? <laughs> uh, can I... Okay, multiple things. I want to re... I want to rest, get full health. 
I also want to see if I can spend my souls. And I want to reset my torch to five minutes. I am full health, aren't I? Yes, okay. Um, there is definitely no points here. Why is this toggle shit? Um, A, B, X, Y, toggle. Oh, right! Okay, you can light at a fire. Makes sense. Okay. Well, let's fight some cursed little frog fuckers. Is this my introduction to cur- Oh, fuck's sake, have I got to jump off the- The top. I do die. Shit. Alright. Let's run the long way again. Running attack? Oh, fuck, no stamina. You know what? I might have to do a dex playthrough. I generally go strength and big old damage weapons, but I did like your katana towards the end of Dark Souls 1. It was fast and just lovely. I might do a dex playthrough. Like, prioritize it at the very least over strength. Let me know what you would prefer to see. A noob using faster, weaker weapons or slower, stronger weapons? I did love the Black Knight Sword from, from Dark Souls 1. That shit was nice. Okay. Yeah, you know, you might not even... He's not following me. This is a good test of whether you can jump over waist-high shit in this game. Well... There's two googly fuckers. Let's just launch myself into action, eh? <laughs> Wrong button. Oh, I'm pressing in the button. It's not doing anything. Right, it's not a thing. I see. Okay, it's not a thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Maybe we go through the other way, I guess. Or can we light this fucker on fire, maybe? Nope, that's not a thing. Okay. No problem. Right, nine seconds. Let's see what, ha see what happens with the torch. Three, two, one... Gone. Can I just get a fresh five-minute one? Oh. Did I have a torch item that was not lit and then I lit it and then it's like used up and spent? Hmm. Huh. I must have. Okay. I didn't see I had a torch item, but... Huh. Unless it was somewhere else on the UI and I didn't even notice. Sorry, Amber Herb slightly restores spell uses. Okay. I'm saving all my souls for now. So this red eye orb. Defeat the master of the world you have invaded. Right, so that's a that's a kill all motherfuckers item. <laughs> Understood. Oh, they, hang on there. Torch, zero minutes. But it's not like an item I can click on. No. Huh. Maybe I have to leave the area and come back, sort of a thing, or get a certain distance on a fire. Hmm. Oh, are these... That looks like a PvP bloodstain to me. Uh, this place again? Now, I do have shit to, set to restricted and so on, but I guess you can't go offline in this game. 
the only option is cross-region play restricted, voice chat restricted, but there's no, I've seen zero offline or online options, not even on the main menu. Oh, you can see, you can see the messages. Hang on, can, can you, right, hang on, you can make your own. Player info. <laughs> Fluffy. If somebody invades me, will they see my name as Fluffy? I'd really rather not get invaded, I'll be honest. Light ahead. These are definitely player messages. I'm expecting some crude, like... Uh... Tough enemy ahead. Yeah, I'm expecting some crude shit. Right, some serious shit's about to go down by the looks of it. Oh, well, I've missed that cursed frog area, but it looked like I couldn't get there, so... I guess we'll see. Forgive me, I'm gonna take one last look. This this has the air of, like, I'm leaving the tutorial world um, feel to it. I'm just gonna look off the edges and shit like that. There was even that beach guy down the bottom. It does look like it continues from there. Well, it wouldn't let me jump off, and I can't go past the statue, so... Uh... Petrification stone? Oh, you can't use it, you can only leave it. I wonder if that will unpetrify a, a dude. Hmm. I wonder if that unpetrifies me if I get cursed or something. Maybe. Well, let's commit. I'm not even full health, but let's just do this. Be wary of light. Good luck, beware, but be wary of death. Okay, there's lots of warnings here. How did this guy die? <laughs> okay. That's a warning. Well, shield up. Fucking hell. Maluja. Let's take cover behind the rock. That shield looks very spartan. Gotta say. Is the, is the light going to kill you? Because it's because I'm like hollowed and undead sort of a situation. It's a very strange blur visual with sword attacks. Have you noticed? Anyway, right, God help me. What's going on here? Well, how the fuck did he die, then? Dude, I'm... I'm liking the visual. This looking out of this ocean is reminding me of Resident Evil for some reason. Dude, we got ruins. I'd love to know how, where this place existed in the... Sort of in relation to the first game. It feels like we're, it's set in the same general universe. Uh, am I missing something? How are all these fuckers dying? Oh, hang on. Let me grab this. Divine Blessing. What's that? A spell. Nope. Divine blessing. There it is. Oh, it's like one of those super potions. Okay. Right. What place seems more up? This place seems like it. Don't give up. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn back on myself and go back into the dark. I think before I commit to this area. Although there is a fire there to rest at.
Well, I want to do this shit back behind me first, if I can. I can hear some movement, by the way. I'm scared. Be wary of fatty. Oh, God. Well, as long as I've got the shield up, I'll be fine, eh? Sorry about my shoddy camera work here, Jesus Christ. Oh, hang on, Fatty, is that like one of those big trolls? Okay, there's something blue in front of my eyeballs. Um. Oh, it's a dude. Man, <laughs> man ahead. Thanks for that. Um, I'll just quickly loot this. Just stay there. Life gem and homeward bone. Cool. Visions of confidence, but equipment breakage ahead. Hello there. Have you business with me? Oh, he's human. Locked up, you see. By this god office statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to put it there? Put it there? That's a very... I'm in quite the pickle now. <laughs> this is... Uh... Is, is that supposed to be Scottish? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very strong attempt at an accent. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough. What statue is he on about? It to look alive. <laughs> right. <laughs> This doesn't he seem quite right. It doesn't seem I quite right. Around these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? I like his beard. That's a very strong accent, is Gus. So I don't know what statue is on about. Maybe there's one in there. See that statue? Ah, hey. Hey, there's a fucking statue. Go and stare at the statue. Aye. <laughs> right, we'll... Uh, oh, God. Beach or this place? I kind of want to rest that... Uh, I've committed to this way now, but I do want to rest at that fucking thing. Oh, I see. The weather's got the, I've got a gremlin in that little thing. Sorry about this. I'm indecisive, but let's rest at the um, campfire. Bonfire thing. At least I've seen the first friendly human face. I feel like the world is, is like a lie. It's like light and friendly. There's no enemies. And at some point I'm going to trigger some serious shit. And plunge this area in shadow and misery and death. <laughs> uh, okay. Shield up. Okay. There's a person over there. Well, I can see multiple people. Oh, shit. Okay, mo right, is this like Firelink Shrine? Like central hub of the game? I figured we were still in tutorial area, you know what I mean? Like border world um, situation? But maybe this is the central place? The Far Fire. Still can't spend my souls, and this is another way of doing it. Uh, let's talk to the tree lady. Hello? Nice looking armor. Little green riding hood, can I speak? Yes. Are you the next monarch? Oh. Oh, are we becoming the king? I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Thank you very much. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Oh, is she friendly? Oh, I've got a fr <gasps> Esther's flask. Go on and see the king. He who made Drang Lake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. A king was mentioned in the opening cutscene. 
King Vendrick. You may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. Is this like a emissary of the Emerald Her Emerald Emerald? Uh, okay. Error of the curse. Seek misery. Seek misery. <laughs> All right. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. Understood. You'll never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Right, hang on, hang on. She said, "Are you the next monarch? Are we like replacing the king?" Kind of like how we replaced Lord Gwyn as the... Well, we didn't replace Gwyn at all. We just, we killed him and then we kindled the flame. But but yeah, we're, it sounds like we're replacing the king of this of these parts. Okay, well, that's, uh, at least we've made two friends now. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Oh. Their souls will serve as beacons. That sounds exactly like the first game. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. That sounds exactly like the first game. You had to get four Lord Souls, or fragments of Lord Souls. But four, specifically, to commence the end of the game. That sounds exactly like this. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Seek the king. So Must this land swallow you whole. Oh right, we can talk to her to do that shit. I wonder if we can do that at a fire now. Uh what does it take to upgrade the flask? Hang on, do I have a flask shard? Uh we'll just leave real quick. Don't accidentally swipe her and kill her. Vulcan L. I'm guessing I don't have a shard, but it will tell me that when I try and upgrade the thing. Well, I might as well up yeah, I might as well use all my shit. Uh, nameless is 800. How much is a proud? That should be better. 2,000. What I guess. Okay. Well, thank you. Right. Well, I'm glad to make a friend, and she looks very cool in her green and red garb. I'm a friend of the Emerald Heralds. Bearer of the curse. Seek so, seek the king. Let so, okay. I think I've got it. It might not be the entire game, but I think I've got it. Kill four powerful fuckers, then confront the king and kill him. <laughs> oh, ooh. Interesting. Right, okay, here we go now. Here we go now. I wonder if anything will give you more poise, ironically. Because that's a big deal to me. Once I put on the wolf ring in Dark Souls 1 and equipped some armor, Lautrec's golden boy armor and the boar helm, and they all had lots of poise, I was just an unstoppable wrecking machine. <gasps> it does give you poise. Okay, so it's not just about rolling in iframes. It gives you more poise, resistance... Petrify is different to curse, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. Well, let's have a look at everything that you can do. So, vigorous health. Simple. Nothing else. Um. Okay, one big difference I'm noticing here is in Dark Souls 1, when you level anything up, no matter what the stat, it boosts all your defenses, and that inherently makes you just tougher and tougher as the game progresses. But it doesn't do that in this game. None of your defenses go up, so that's interesting. So I guess you're more reliant on adaptation and uh, just your armor. Okay, just health. Just health and stamina. What? Say what? Okay, you get more health from the stamina stat than you do from the fucking health stat. Look. Oh no, you get nowhere near as much. <laughs> I didn't look at the second number. 56. Nothing. But you do get a tiny bit of health with your stamina. Vitality gives you a quip load and a little bit of health. Ah, does everything give you health? Right, I see. Okay, everything gives you a little bit of health. Okay. 
it goes up by 26... 30. 30 points of health. Well, my health is fine, really. So, what's that? Attributes... Uh, that spell slot is an attunement. Don't need that. Strength... Damage goes up a tiny bit. Uh... Right, okay, so that... You actually have separate stats and nothing to do with your weapon. Hmm. So hang on, my dagger's got up by one point with strength. Not so much with... Hang on, sorry. I need to... I want to... Uh, uh, unequip some shit here. Uh, so I've got a sword in one and a dagger in two. I'm going to remember that, because that's important. Bear, seek the understood, understood, understood. Stand. Shh, 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 shh. Level up. Okay, here we go. So, strength doesn't up my sword damage at all. Yes, it does. Right. So, strength ups everything. Dagger by one. Sword by one. Dex is just dagger by one. Right, okay. Adaptability gives me significantly more resistances, a little bit more poise. But then, I mean, yeah. Everyone has been on my case about that, but I can't see anything to do with, like, rolling. Int. And then faith. Okay. Well... <laughs> Fuck, man. I'll tell you what, I do want to get it to at least, like, ten right off the fucking back. Oh, I... Oh. Oh, right, okay. I was going to say, I want to get it to ten just for my first few levels. I can do that immediately. Let's just do it so I've got a comfortable ten and my poise goes up significantly. No, hang on. Hang on. Oh, no, look, my, my poise only goes up with your first level. Then it ceases to go up with all the rest. I guess it's not uniform scale. I'm still going to put in five points. But I guess it's not uniform between levels. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll figure it out, but uh, it doesn't say anything to do with rolling or iframes or anything like that, so I don't really know what the big deal is. Uh, oops, do I have a f shard? No. Okay. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle. Where a man what forest? Peered straight into the essence of the soul. Up there. But whatever came of it. That looks like um Orthanc. <laughs> Saruman's tower in Lord of the Rings. That's a fucking carbon copy of Orthanc. Even with the spikes at the top. It looks awesome. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation Drang Lake. soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. Ain't gonna happen to me. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Blue knight, is that the blue sword guy that I is a foreshadowing to. of your own future. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. Okay. The sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Oh, I shan't, soft-spoken lady. Precious little time. She's got a lot to say. When dead dies, it is never truly dead, but only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows, but all hollows were once undead. Understood. Okay. Well, I'm not going, uh, undead, uh, you know what I mean. I'm not going hollow. So I am undead, but I haven't gone hollow. If you find an Estus shard, bring it to me, so that I may ease your burden. 
Okay. Over the hill and past right, okay. Pierce, but whatever. Those who come to drink it okay. to the more. Gotcha. Blue Knight. So, the King's... I assume it means Epic Tower in the distance, behind the forest or whatever. Okay. Well, there's a dude up here. Don't give up. What, what's with all these messages? I'm seeing people die everywhere, but I'm seeing no, like, enemies or anything. You're undead, aren't you? I am. You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost okay. normal. Okay. Majula then, so... Okay. I've been lake these days. There are very few places like that. I'm definitely getting a strong feeling that Majula is filing shrine, basically. Everyone has been human so far. Um, although the, the, the NPCs in Dark Souls 1 were all human. Hmm. I never questioned that, actually. So most of them went hollow or died in my playthrough, but still. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. I like your armor. I heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. Have I been lied to? For you, me, or anybody. Oh, Jesus, this guy's doom and gloom, isn't he? I wonder if we can change his spirits later on. Do you know much about souls? He's very quiet. Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living... Sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? Not really. Alive to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. This guy is not happy. Undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. I look a bit more undead than he looks. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. Can I get some names? From here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. I'm sure I will. A powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. <laughs> Shall just quit the game. Like I have. <laughs> It's not a laughing matter, my friend. So what's his name? Solden. We had the Emerald Herald Lady. Um, I'm not sure I caught her name. But Emerald Woman and Solden. Do you ever cr The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You will face invaders from <laughs> the worlds at every turn. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? Oh. When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Blue Sentinels? Protection is yours. Hang on, is that like a, a summon kind of situation? A kind embrace. Oh! Covenant of the Meek. Uh, isn't meek like a bad thing? If you are meek, you are, does that sort of essentially mean kind of cowardly and weak? <laughs> Has he just like insulted me to my face? Um, I'm gonna say no for now, but as long as I've discovered it and I know it's here. Um, I see. Then, if you ever require, right, stay here. Because I know in the first game, you could only be actively, like. You can only be in one at any one time, and it's why I stuck with the Fair Lady Chaos Spiders. Because I committed to them, and I felt some level of commitment to them. And I didn't want to keep switching between covenants. So I just stuck the with the Chaos Servant Covenant all game, and ended the game. Um, and I know there was some punishment and, like, shit happens when you switch covenant and abandon one. So I don't, I don't just want to join the first one available to me. 
Um, but then that sounded almost like it's beyond Covenant and there's like side quest material there. Because um, I've just actively basically said, no, I don't want your help. So please let me know in the comments if not joining the Covenant, I'm going to miss out on some character development and so on. Um, I'm glad I've l I know it's here. Praise the sun. Uh, is that trying to tell me that this blue covenant is the sun covenant of this game? <laughs> the solaire covenant. Can we read this statue thing? What? Five... Fifty... Five hundred and fifty-seven million... One hundred and twenty thousand... Nine hundred and fifty-four deaths worldwide. 961, 963, 964, <laughs> 965. Dude, this is an online, actually real time updating death counter. That's fucking great. 973, 974, someone just died. Nope, nope, 974. Oh, another one just died. That's great. Do you feel lonely here? No, I've got humans here to talk to. Shall I up the? It will grow on you, this place. Give it some time. Let me. Uh, I'm not going to change my my volumes this episode. Let me know what my volume mix is like. Um, I tend to change my volumes in editing anyway, but. Especially like voice versus music versus game sound effects. Let me know what the mix is like, because I might raise the voice compared to everything else. Because voices in Dark Souls games are all quiet as shit for some reason. Welcome. Cool. Ah, crestfallen Sultan. Hang on. Wasn't there a crestfallen guy at the start of Dark Souls 1? The guy in the grey armour? What was his fucking name? Crestfallen something. And he ended up going hollow down in New Londo, and then he attacked me at, like towards the end of the game. Um. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once a great fort. Little That's a crazy place. bridge. You may just find something there that will be of use on your journey. Okay. Does he... But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come... Does he mean up to where I tried going, or does he mean down there? Because just behind the bonfire, there's that path I didn't go down there. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. Hade? In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, okay. I just don't know. Hmm. I'm getting a strong hint of, like, colours meaning a bunch of shit in this game. We've got the emerald lady that's friendly, we've got lots of blue shit. Like, this guy has got his blue friendly knights, and then some blue set, uh, motherfuckers. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? I don't know what it's like down below. Where? But I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Gaping hole. You will never make it down there. Not without a ladder of some sort. Does he mean that thing, that circle above my head over there? The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land. Beacons to we undead. Beacons to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. It certainly does. Long ago. Dude, there's so much dialogue. I love it. The firekeeper watched over each bonfire. Okay. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. Have they all gone now, then, I guess? Where the fire keepers went. Hmm. So there's no fire keepers anymore. Well, there's three ex-fire keepers in that witch house back there. And then one's missing. And then none of them are watching fires. They're all just permanently lit. 
Is that some sign or symbol that this is af taking place after the first game and our actions at the end of that game canonically just kept all the fires lit without the need for fire keepers for a little while? That sounds like it could be correct. I don't know. Did you notice any letters on the ground on the way here? Yep. These are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. Fissures? In Drang Lake. The flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. <sighs> Poignant wishes, dashed dreams. This guy is just convey our very inner thoughts. <sighs> if your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there. I might have to leave a message at some point. But uh, this this guy is so miserable. He's <laughs> just like the crestfallen dude in the first game. Just utter doom and gloom. You can try ringing the bells if you want, but you'll never succeed. <laughs> and his creepy laughs. May notice symbols that appear. These are summoning, summoning signatures. signatures. They call upon spirits from other worlds through the skin. Right. In time. Is this just players, or is it? If you fear hollows, find some signatures to call upon spirits to help you. You see, that's something I didn't do in Elden Ring or Dark Souls, is, is, is summoning NPCs, because I always thought of them as just like assistance for boss fights, rather than correctly thinking it's like continuing quest lines with like individuals, like character arcs. So if I see any NPC summon signs, I'll be doing them from now on. Do you see the way beyond the Is he just repeating himself? Right. He just right, he's repeating himself. Okay. Inside. So we've had the... <laughs> Sorry, you're talking too long. Fucking hell. Um, although I appreciate the info. So we've had the way of the blue... Uh, what the fuck? What was the name of the Covenant officially? I was all... Um, oh, wow. that's, is that going to enter it? No, that's it. So it is the way. The way of the blue. Okay. In a rush. So we've got the way of the blue. Uh, Emerald Lady doesn't... I don't think that's a... I'm not even going to try. Get, I'll just jump off the edge. Don't you dare... No chance in hell. I'm gonna jump off there. I don't think she is a covenant. Bearer of seek so seek the less than talk. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. That's it. Yeah. Come to Just repeating herself. Now there's a dude over here. I hope you'll forgive me if this first episode is lengthy and a bit slow, um, but I just want to experience it. Talk to everyone. You understand? Can't all be boss fights and awesome action. I want the lore and the story. Oh, this is your first undead looking dude. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I <laughs> packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. Okay. So he needs his tool. Is this a guy a blacksmith? I'm a blacksmith. Oh, what a guess. I'm nothing without <laughs> hmm. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. So I need a key. So who's got the key? I'm a blacksmith. Okay, 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 okay. Right, well... I'll <laughs> I do want the blacksmith's key. I sort of missed who had it or where it is, I'll be honest. I was busy looking at his face. That's fine, we uh, just, just gotta get the key. Okay. It's just the hole that they were mentioning. The way down to the king or something? A, a ladder was mentioned. Fuck it now. Oh Christ, we'll be going down there. I'm getting vibes from some game. You know what? You know what game I'm getting vibes of? And this is just utterly random. Final Fantasy X. 
the ruins of Xanarkand just just bleak, like the world is like pretty much ended, just like few survivors left, but very poignant and like calm and sort of beautiful in its own way. I got those feelings at the like towards the end of Final Fantasy X. Ooh, hello. Uh, oh, oh hello there. What up, dude? W welcome to my uh, shop. Mafflin. I'm Morlin. Morlin. And I, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I. Please do have a look at my wares. Morlin is ballin. I could really use the business. Okay. If you'd be so kind. Uh, well, I've got only 151 measly souls, but uh, I'll have a look at what you've got. Right, I need a better sword right, immediately because I've got some shitty broken crap. 90% physical. Oh, please tell me you get 100% physical reduction shields in this game. Armor. Oh, so it doesn't have a sword. That's fine. Okay. Um. You might, you all might have to correct me. Great shields I didn't bother in the first game because they're too heavy. I use regular shields. And then small ones aren't as good for protection, but they are better for parrying, are they not? They've got a, f a larger parry window. Uh, I came from the west, from Volgan. Volgan? Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Why the fuck did you come here then? Very competitive, of course. And you, you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. Grease? But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. I like your hat, sir. It's been years since then, and I've... <laughs> well, I've made very little headway. <laughs> this guy's jovial. I like him if... You know why I'm still here. If I get some money, I'll definitely buy a shield from you. It's all run down and dying. It's t terrible for business, really. I'd love to know how he got here. Maulin the Ballin. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. Oh. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. So is that the way of the Blue Covenant then? They claim to be working for the greater good, but oh, that's absolute hogwash. Oh, is it now? <sighs> oh, by the gods. <laughs> oh fucking hell, everyone is so forlorn and just like hopeless <laughs> in this fucking place. Uh, well, I well, I do hope I see you again. I'll be buying one of these shields. Don't worry. Oh, is that a halberd I see? Oh. Oh, we can go up. Okay. Okay, somebody died here. How did he die? Chest monster trap? Oh. Now, I know full well in the first game, some NPCs, like merchants and stuff, you could kill and get their armor set, etc. I'm guessing this is one guy who just got killed by that dude. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, upgrade shard, I believe. Okay. Okay. Um, right, let me just quickly see what kind of shield I've got, because I thought it was a normal shield. It's not, it's a small shield, right. Um. Oh shit. I wonder if there's some hint in the stats that it, it, it's got a bigger parry window, if you see what I'm saying. Or if you just are supposed to know that. Casting speed, no. Durability. Current durability, maximum durability. Okay. At zero, the items break and become ineffective. Durability is restored by resting at a bonfire. But a broken item must be. Re right, so in this. I think in the first game, once it broke, that was it. It was fucked. But it looks like you can repair it, even if it breaks in this game. Uh, okay. Right, there's no hint that, uh, that the the parry window is bigger, you know what I mean? Mmm, well, okay. I shall return, good sir. Once I've got like 2,000 souls. Mmm, oh god.
God, all sorts of death around here. Dash ahead and then jump for hurrah. I am not running and jumping off there. Fuck yourself. Hello? Oh, you talk. <laughs> Hello, cat. Oh, I'm dead, are we? Oh my God. And one without much time remaining. What? Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. Is this Professor McGonagall? <laughs> a lady, lady talking cat. Oh. Suit yourself. Is there a cat covenant? Oh yes. You may call me Shalqua. Enchanté. 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 Shalqua. What did you want, anyway? If there's a cat covenant, I might have to join it. You smell wonderful. <laughs> I smell lemony fresh. Abandoned covenant? And hang on, I did not join Way of the Blue. I hit no on the blue fuckers. Covenants. No covenants. What? Oh, hang on. Is this a, like a, a, an NPC that lets you manage your covenants? Let's talk to her. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I'm getting, okay, I'm getting creepy vibes here. Um, I was going to say, if there's a cat covenant, I might have to join it. I own a cat in real life, um, for people who don't know. Kitty called Scout, small black cat. So cats are A-OK -okay with me. <laughs> so if there's an actual cat covenant. Right, OK. I'd have to join it, but I don't think there is. This, this is just like a covenant managing cat. <laughs> And I never thought I'd say that sentence. This is a cat that can manage your covenant situation. Ooh, oh, now I know how important rings are in these games. You got a cat ring. Absorb HP from each defeated foe. I bet that's a tiny amount of HP. Um, it reduces damage from falling. That could be appropriate for the cat, I see. Easier to be detected by enemies. No, that's bad. Or some weird PvP shit. Um, red eye ring. Name engraved ring. Easy to connect easy to connect to players who chose the same god. Easy to summon friendly covenant people uh players. Ring of whispers can hear the voices of foes. A lot of these sound PvP to me, except the falling damage and the absorbing HP. Um, you can buy some bones, nice and cheap. I might have to save up just a few souls and buy some of those. Especially if the bonfire situation is a bit sparser than the first game. I want some prism stones to toss them off edges. Um, in fact, I wouldn't mind tossing a prism stone onto the ledge down that hole. See if you can survive the fall. Alluring skull. I never used those in the first game. And I didn't use those talismans to block Estus flasks either. Um, let me read the actual full description. A modest but inexplicably disturbing ring. Absorbs HP from each defeated enemy. Peer too closely at the rare stone that forms the eye of this ring and things that writhe and stir may come into focus. Silver cat ring. Silver ring depicting a leaping feline reduces damage from falling. Legend has it that when cats grow old, a force brews within them and they are reborn as something new. Nine lives? Sort of sounds like a phoenix. If it is tranquility that you seek, then you should never have left your home. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hear the inner voices of surrounding foes. Ring worn by Roy the Explorer. Huh. Useful for locating hidden enemies and perhaps a few other things as well. Oh shit boy, man, that sounds like it could be very useful. Right, I want to be saving up some souls for some of this shit. This place is fast. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. 
I love the fact I'm talking to a fucking cat. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a creepy cat, but a, a cat is a cat. Are you going to see the old ones? Those four who have grown so oh. incredibly... The, the four major bosses of this game. Yes, I am. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake. No one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> Who voices this guy? Yes. Nothing like yourself. I don't know why, but I feel like I recognize this voice actress. Pleasant scent. It grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> I swear I recognize this voice. Have you made friends with the man by the sea? I mean, kind of. He was a bit down and miserable. He lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> the only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Okay. Covenants are a type of, well, contract, you might say. Yep, okay. He only had the one covenant to join. Something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> okay. Did you see that oddly formed rock behind here? No, I didn't. Long ago, they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Okay. Although, you'd just as well not. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a good look. But I don't want a greater challenge. Sweet Shalqua, what a name. Sweet Shalqua. This place is already dead. Oh, she's repeating herself. Isn't it wonderful? Oh my. <laughs> Haste makes one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate your uh, your custom, Mrs. Cat. It's a shame you you aren't a cat covenant, though. I'll be honest with you. I'd have joined her immediately. Um, now I did see an item somewhere, didn't I? There. Blacksmith key? Nope, okay. There's a, well, it looks like, I mean, I haven't even tried going down a lot of these places, but it looks like I've got multiple options. These four big bosses that are clearly being mentioned, I wonder if you can do any of them in any order? Which makes me wonder, like, how enemy difficulty scales, if it does. Maybe everything gets tougher as you get tougher? Anyway, what's this stone she was mentioning? Try attacking. Okay, that's clearly gonna cut some shit. Uh, oh right, I see. <laughs> I see. So if I cut this... Um... Okay, if you cut the rope, that's going further down, but can I can I hit the stone off the edge? To really, really yeah, there we go, right. Estus flask shard! Hey! Cool! Woo! Hang on, hang on, hang on, we've got a little, little... What are these? What are they? they I can say they look like... Pigs, but I think they're undead little piglets. Fucking hell, they're tough. Okay, they've got the health of like a thousand gods. What the fuck what sort of pigs are those? Okay, I am yet to. S Fucking hell, man. Can you parry the pigs? Okay, why are these like. Ridiculously strong. Let's put on the dagger. <laughs> I feel bad. Ow. Fucker. Little bastards. These are tougher than the fucking ogre I killed at the start to get that ring. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Dude. I, uh. I like, I like how you can swipe multiple enemies, like, easily. That was a bit of a problem in the first game when enemies bunched up. You wouldn't actually hit them all as easily. 
Ow. Fucking hell! These are like fucking... Super pigs! Th these are ridiculously strong pigs, man. Th there's pigs and then there's fucking pigs, man. I'm, g I'm gonna die to some motherfucking pigs. I am gonna fucking die. I need to put, like, flasks on and shit. Let's just use a life. Let's waste another life, Jim. Fucking hell. Right, come on, then. Let's get my stamina back. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. I like the ease of switching to lock on target. That's nice. Oh, they want a piece of my ass. Right, okay, height is playing a bit of an issue here. Little nibbling bastards. Oh, these are actually tough as fuck. These are like on par with Millennia. I want to see Millennia versus these the three little pig... Th three little pigs? Is this a three little pigs reference and I'm killing some innocent little pigs? I didn't get any loot. Okay. <gasps> well, I a did you hear that? I actually successfully parried a fucking pig. But uh, there was no. Oh my god, man! I'm sorry if I'm committing some terrible sin here. Oh, I got some loot. Nice nah, just souls. Okay. Well. I am sorry if those were some cute little good pigs and I've just become an absolute bastard by killing them. She did mention a stone behind here. Is this what she was on about? A stone behind here. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> no. You do have a rather good time, I'm quite fond. She likes my smell. Okay. This place is f We receive only the most peculiar. It's enough to keep even. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh my. I'll remember that about the stone. Maybe she was on about this stone here. Anyway. What's in here? It's locked. Okay. Well, let's give the shard to the emerald lady. I wonder if anyone's going to be pissed off now that I've, like, executed some little innocent pigs. But you definitely have to speak to her to level up, it looks like. Um, speaking of, can I travel back to the first place? I can! Dude! Right, okay, that makes it easier then. Okay. Mm hmm. Is that a shard you found? It certainly is. Here, let me see it, so that I may help you. She's got a mix of accents. To see light, to see hope. <laughs> However faint it might. However faint. She's okay. I'm. I'm getting the strong. There's just regular sort of northern English, but then I swear I heard a hint of Irish and maybe a hint of like um the the farmer accent of England. What's what's uh where Stephen Merchant is from? Um. The West Country. West Country accent. I'm sure I had a little bit of that. Farmer. West Country. A little like pirate. Estus flask strength and right. Let's equip that. Those who come to Drangley, yeah, it same. To them all. Well, thank you for your assistance. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, how do we officially put it on? Estus flasks. Yes! Anything else I want actively on? I'll put your home bones on. You've got so many more slots now. Uh, I might as well put your pine resin on. Uh, I'll keep all the extra shit at bay for now. Hmm. Okay. Right, okay. Now we've done some shit. I won't join that covenant just yet, but I'll definitely remember. 
remember that it's there. Let's just rest again. And then I guess we've got a choice of up there, down here, or up there. Or try, to like, jumping down the hole, but fuck that. Let's just, uh... I can't light the fire again. Jumping required ahead, then good luck. Okay. Oh. Up there. No. Definitely not. Let's just go down here. Fuck it. Monster head. I mean, one of the main reasons I went offline is because I, I found a few spoilery messages left by players in the first game. They just directly told me what was ahead, and I didn't like that. So I might stop reading messages. Um, let me know how you feel. Is that a, that's not a, f a trap, is it? Rusted coin. Say what? Temporarily boosts luck. Crushing the coin temporarily boosts luck. This rusted coin gives you that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. The coin... Is it right? So it increases, like, item discovery drop rate or whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to leave it just for now. Let's start just hoarding all the items and not using them, eh? Liar ahead. You see, this is kind of what a... Hidden path illusory wall. This is the kind of thing I'd rather figure out on my own, I'll be honest. Uh... Oh, hang on. That kind of looks like it sh should be a doorway, you know what I'm saying? But is this one of those messages that is making fun of people for trying? Do you see what I mean? Because this is another reason I didn't like them. Because they're just full of shit and they're just clearly lying. Um, yeah. Merchant. Okay. I'm not going to read every message necessar necessar necessarily. Okay, pull. Shield up. Okay. Shortcut opened. Oh god, help us. We're going two hours, thirty minutes. Let's keep going another half hour at least. I want to make a little bit more progress. Try jumping, but be wary of left. <laughs> okay. Well, I need the items, so... I'm a professional when it comes to this shit. Oh, I see. That's deep. I see. Loot. Okay. Well, I kind of wanted to jump off there, whereas I could clearly land on there. Rather than running and jumping from here. Let's try jumping off from the top. Because up here, you can clearly land, land down there. Whee! Homeward bone and a soul, thank you. Okay. Um, am I like fucked down here now? <laughs> Let's go this way. Hello. Let's get out of here before we get trapped in here. Don't want to get trapped with Ogre. Ogre boy. The Forest of Fallen Giants. Okay. Um, that's... Fucking hell, calm down, would you? Calm down, would you? Is this guy just gonna kill me? Oof. 
I love the speed of the the dagger, man. Seriously. I'm wondering if the ring drops off the first one of these, or just any of these, and I got lucky. Charge! Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Dude, these are... Oh, I got a helm. Okay. No bullshit. The, the little piglets were about ten times higher health and stronger than these guys. Is that normal? I don't think it's as easy to get... Oh, it is. Right, okay. The backstab was easy to pull off mid-fight in the first go. Um... I don't want to get caught up on these guys for no reason. Should I try and kill this one? I've got two Eskus flasks. Let's waste a life gem so I don't have to waste a flask and then we'll try... We'll just try daggering him, I guess. Fucking hell. Let's just go two-handed. I am doing more damage. Jesus. Oh, okay, with fast rolling, it is faster. It is nice and fast. I like it. Oh, you've got to be seriously fast, though. Oh, yeah, you've got to be really fast. Okay. Okay. I see. <sighs> that jump attack is a fucking lifesaver. <sighs> fucking hell. Let's get some stamina back. I love the fact these guys fall over. <laughs> it's just... It's just great. <sighs> oh, no, no. No, 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 no! Your penis! You fucking shit! Fuck! I honestly thought if I just spammed him very, very fast, I could kill him. But did you see my first attack there? Missed. And I was just left there like an idiot. I like to think that wasn't my fault. <laughs> Motherfucker. Right, okay. Gosh darn it. Right, okay, the deaths are coming in thick and fast. Ooh, right, okay, fine. Can you make this go faster? No. Okay. Come on. Come on, now I should be able to just walk under there. There. I, I seem to have like a little, little bit of extra health up the top there. You see that? I wonder what that extra little bit of bar is. Hmm. I wonder if you can like overheal more than your maximum technically. You just stay chill over there, Mr. Troll. Go fucking ham. Go ham. Right, let's do this two-handed. Okay, right, okay. I know it's I know it's because it's a dagger, the range is shit. I get it. But still. Fucking hell, man. What the fuck, man? Oh, it's not instant healing, I see.
Okay, so yeah. In the face. That's what you get. Uh, fucking camera. Fall over, would you? Oh god, I misclicked completely. <laughs> okay. I'm glad they're slow and stupid, I'll be honest. But that, that just makes me even more stupid for dying to them. Fucking hell, man. Fuck you. You know what, let's just use my flask, even though I've only got two of them. Fuck. Christ. Loot. There we go. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. Now, I did get some more armor. Like, you know, just new shit. Um, I'm guessing that first top left is physical protection. Yeah, so physical defense. I only really, for now, care about physical, and then the three types of physical, and then poise, really, for now, which is the top right. So top left and top right are the most important for me, currently. Um, oh, so that's less and no poise, okay. Oh, okay. I need some poise. Okay. Gotcha. Well, let's continue into the garden, eh? Ooh. Oh, hello there! Uh, okay, now I can travel... Uh, travel... Oh! Crestfallen's Retreat! Is this a... Is that a player? Must be players, yeah. Okay. Um. I wonder if this has got anything to do with the your crestfallen. Um. Oh, what was his name? I've already forgotten his name. Sorry. Um. The guy back at what's his place? Let's. You know what? Let's try fast traveling. Just seeing what it's like. Um, what is that number one down there? I'm a bit sort of... I don't want to waste any resource here. Um, bonfire intensity one. Let's just try it one time, see what happens. I don't know what that intensity means. Oh, she's moved. Do you want to stand by the tree anymore? Okay, right, so she's... Uh, I've got to go see this guy, see if he mentions that thing again. Hello there, anything new to say? Watching over me, okay. That's his name. Crestfallen. That will take you to the forest of the giant. That is where I am going. There was once a great fort. Great fort. Little of it remains. Just fight, but don't okay. To. Oh, I'll be... Cre right, so his name is Crestfallen Sultan. Let me know in the comments if you would. I'm too lazy to Google it, but let me know what the Crestfallen Soldier's name was in the first game. I should know it, but Christ. There's so many names that come at you so thick and fast sometimes. Um, Yeah. Let's rest and I'll be on my way. Although, I do have some soul items to use. And I'm, I might be able to buy a, a better shield. Like, right off the bat. Um, and I want to do custom with that guy, you know. I'm so going to have to jiggle with the volumes in the editing of this video. So fucking loud. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just use them all. Oh, 
That's probably more than enough, but hey. Right, let's go back to him. Um, I'm going to keep going for like, it's, I've been going two and two hours, 50 minutes. I've probably got 10 minutes to edit out, so I'll keep going another 20, 30 minutes. Um, and after this episode, if I remember, I'm going to rewatch what the blacksmith said about his key. Because I think he said it was somewhere and I, I just was not listening. Oh, hello. <laughs> Um, okay, shields. I'd like a regular shield if I can. You see, even the great shield isn't 100% physical reduction. I think I want a nice medium shield, and I like the look of that because it's got a bird on it, or a dragon. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, hang on. Uh... Okay. That's what I've already got, actually. Silver, so I could have bought, I didn't have to go with this class, I could have bought this shield from this vendor instead of spawning with it. Silver Eagle Kite Shield, a medium sized metal shield, a commonly used standard shield, has a pointed top designed for ease of use while on horseback. Does this game have a mount? I'm guessing it doesn't, that, mounts don't seem like a Dark Souls thing to me. Twin Dragon Great Shield, a wooden great shield featuring twin dragons. I wonder if it's that Hellkite Dragon and fucking Calamite. <laughs> Jesus, don't don't remind me. Quite light for this size of shield. Oh, right, okay. Seven weight. Three, three, seventy. That's not bad, actually. One requires strength to handle a great shield, but they are very stable. In battle, one fights using a shield bash instead of powering. Well, let's get your silver kite shield. Um, in fact... That's what I've got, so let's compare the magic resistances. I'll gain a bit more physical. Uh, I lose lightning and fire. Uh, and poison, I think. Dark, right? Dark, poison, bleed, petrify, curse. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> um. Da -da -da -da. Uh. Stability is the same between them. I thought the small shield would have less stability, honestly. But that's fine. I want to buy. Just for the 5% extra damage reduction. Thank you for your custom, sir. Now, what about armor? Um, Standard helm. Is that what I've got already? No, it's not. Um, Five poise. Six. Ooh, these are slightly heavier and better. Mm. Now, I don't... If I... Thanks very much. That's this is important. Forgive me. Um, thank you very much for the nice shield. The po My armor doesn't have poise like my helmet does, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. Because I want poise. I need, I need some fucking poise in my life. See? Zero, zero, zero. Only my helmet has five poise. I'm not okay with that. Uh, I need me some poise. And it is a standard helm, hard leather, hard leather, hard leather. Okay. I'm sure I'll be looting some of these, so there's no point buying them, because I'll just loot some good stuff soon. But I like this guy and his custom. Um, so... So, hard leather, hard leather, right, this, the first four is what I'm wearing. Poise, no, zero, zero, zero. Uh, infantry armor. Infantry gloves and infantry boots. Just zero, zero, zero for poise. Uh, yeah. They're actually just shit. So that's six, but right, here's where I want some serious shit. Um, 7.2 weight is what I'm currently wearing. Seven two three eight three eight. The ones with poise. Seven seven three two. Similar weight, honestly. Um, and I get twelve poise over fucking zero. I might just go with your chest piece because that's got the most poise out of all of them. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um. Four poise. To my zero. Or eight poise to my zero. Let's go with eight. I mean, fuck. Uh, you know, so souls come and go. 
You know what I mean? You can always farm souls if you want to. So it's not like I'm losing out on leveling up. But let's throw those on. I bet I look like a bit less of a bitch now. I've got a nice red shield and... Uh, and red armor. Ooh, yes. I lose a little tiny bit of resistance, but it doesn't matter. I actually gain fire and gain all your physical. Nice. Ooh. Um. Yes. Yes! I might have to, like, get the gloves as well, just so I've got a complete set, you know? Uh, I didn't get a helm, did I? That's fine. Let's put on the other shield. Yes. And I might... I'm not a fan of daggers, even though I like the, the slashy slashy, so I might just quickly just, you just go back to the fucking sword. Dude. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yes. Red, I'm wearing the red of a Spartan. Oh, well, yes. Now I look the part. Minus the gloves and the helm. Okay. Shall I try and get a thumbnail? You you know me. I might have to, uh... I might have to get a thumbnail with this armor on in front of the cat. <laughs> I can't help it. Ooh. Um, ooh, I wonder if you can hide your hood. <gasps> Where's the cat? Oh my god, there's the cat. Okay, thank you. Hello, cat. Oh. Who are you again? She's just moved table with her paws off the edge of the table. Not serious. You do have a rather pleasant... She's the fucking obsessed with smell. Quite fond of. Jesus Christ, she likes her smells. Nothing okay. Nothing do, I presume? Uh, well, that's dismaying. Cal calm down, would you? Um, can I get rid of the hood? Please. It's one of the best features of the remaster of the first game, because you can do really good screenshots and shit. Oh, you can't, can you? Fork. Screen. <gasps> um... Oh, you can! Right, okay. All my regulars know. I'm a whore for these you know, cinematics and the screenshots and stuff. I've just got to do this. Bosh, get rid of my ugly face. Um, this might end up not being the thumbnail, but, um, you know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just... <laughs> That might have, have that. that might end up being the thumbnail. Just a, just a cat and a man right there. In fact, I'm gonna do one of these Steam screenshots. So always got that. There you go. That's even better. Wee. Right. Okay. Now while I've got my camera off and the hood off, let's just quickly get a nice like sunset uh, shot. You know. Hey, it's important to attract and retain new viewers. <laughs> you need a nice, shiny thumbnail, okay? Okay. Oh, hell yes. I mean, back, what's better, backlit or frontlit? You know, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I'm a whore. Oh, look at the the shiny golden sort of god rays of my shoulders. Dude, you've got to admit, I've got an eye for art. Right, camera, and we'll get, um, I'm not going to end the episode here, we're going to do a bit more. That's my fault for wasting time, you, you understand what I'm saying, so that's my bad. I'm not going to deduct the time from playtime, so let's keep going. I'd love to buy a sword at some point, though. Whew. How are we doing? Two hours, 58 minutes. Okay, keep going. Fuck it. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, what am I doing? Huh. What am I doing? Hmm. I can fast travel. I'm intrigued to learn what it means, though, by the bonfire intensity. And what, like, the picture going on down there is. Do you see what I mean? 
Uh. Oh, hang on a moment. Are these your big areas up, up here, the, the, the main grid? These are your main areas of the game, and down there are perhaps some sub bonfires. So here you, you get your forest, but then down there I might have like the first one in the forest, the second one in the forest, the third one, etc. That makes sense. I wonder if intensity has got something to do with danger, like being danger close with some shit, you know? Okay, let's go. Alright, so those big fucks respawn, so there's no point killing them. You bastard. Okay, that power didn't work. That one didn't work either. I've got to practice, come on. There you go. Fall over, that's, that's right. Did I just stab him in the dick? Oh, I'm hoping that was just the angle that I happened to be standing at, because I'm not going to start going around dick stabbing. I'm not that evil. Hello. Item up there. Ooh! Fucking hell, man! Where the fuck did he come from? Jesus Christ. Is my camera darker than it was at the start of this video? Dude. Right, my stability with this is significantly better. Am I getting shot at? I am. Ow, fucker. You little shit. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing you don't take damage while you're in an animation. Maybe these are just weak fucks, but, um... Yeah. I can't believe you start with two flasks. That's a bit brutal, even for Dark Souls. At least you started with, what was it, f f five in the first game? I think. Dude, right, okay, can I, um... You know what, I want to kill that fucker. And then I want to try doing the kick thing, the, the, the shield breaker. Bad. This is bad. This is bad. Much bad. All bad. Calm down. Calm down. It's all gravy. Oh, that fucking archer. Right, hang on. This is going to shit quickly. Let's get to the safety of the fire, just in case. I wonder if that is a person that can see me fighting these fuckers. Dude, I love the stability of the shield against the weak f dudes, I've got to say. Right, here we go, finally. Let me just heal, honestly. I don't care. Fuck it, use it. Right, let's practice the shield breaker thing. It's kind of pointless because he's not actually blocking with that shield, have you noticed? But I, I, get, I, I get the point. Once... Whence I find an enemy that does block, I'll just use that, I guess. What? Okay, that was a perfect parry, motherfucker. <laughs> that was perfect. Come on, dude. Oh, that was not, that was shit. Fucking hell. I'm gonna fucking die. I mean... Uh, oh, f fuck it. That was just me practicing uh, parrying and shit and failing. 
But that was that was weird, I'll admit. I might just try and run past them. <laughs> you know, just leave me alone. Now how'd you get up here? Over here. Hello, where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> Good thing I've got plenty of stability in there. Christ. I want to kill these and see if there's a way to like jump up there or some shit. Stamina, come back. I do have the... <sighs> Fucking hell, man. I do have my poise breaking ring on. Fucking hell! These are tough. One misstep. Oh god. Oh god, no. Yeah, I can, I can see the utility of switching between targets, though. I really can. You know, let's use one of those gems. Fuck, I'm not resting again. Christ. Now let's kill the archer, fucker. And see about jumping up here. That's two hand. Fuck me, let's get some damage in this motherfucker. You. I've got plenty of shit for you, motherfucker. Oh, I see the loot. I'm glad to see there's plenty of life gems to go around on these basic bitches. Because this basic bitch needs some life gems. Alright. Cool. Okay. Well, that looked like you could, like, run and hop up there or something, maybe. You know what's interesting? You've got to jump before you reach a wall, otherwise it stops letting you jump. Okay, no, that's not a thing. Enemy. That definitely looks like a jumpable series of rocks there. But that, that is scenery up there, you cannot get up here. No, you can't. <laughs> right, the, the jump height is limited. Well, how the fuck do you get up there, then? Oh. Oh, right. There's a ladder up there. Maybe you come outside later. Okay. Well, let's continue with my one Estus flask. I've got nine, <laughs> nine one one souls. Somebody call nine one one. Because I need more fucking Estus flasks. I need <laughs> medical attention. Send an ambulance. Ooh, a quick test. Can you do the drop down? You Ooh. Okay, that you can't slide down. You just drop down the fucking thing. I didn't take any fall damage, though. What if I click and hold? No. Okay. Um, this. Okay, this looks like a little boss arena. A little bit scared. Green Blossom. Uh, is that going to give me stamina back? Like, regen stamina? I bet it is. It fucking is. Boost stamina speed. Understood. Hello. I'm not scared of you and your ilk. You and your kind. Uh, well, let's loot the shit. Let's kill before they start to gang up on me. Oh! Okay, yeah. The, the, the parrying is weird. The timing seems to just honestly be a bit of luck in this game. 
Hopefully I do improve a bit. Fucking hell, I've got lots of stamina for like light attacks and shit. Fucking hell! The fuck was that? I've got my fucking shield up! The fuck? I know it's not 100% physical damage reduction, but... You know what I've only just noticed now? The reason I haven't seen my health going down, it's not because it's not going down, it is with every hit, but there's no... Usually when you lose a lot of health, it goes yellow, and then you lose the yellow bit of the health bar, if that makes sense. But when you're holding your shield block, there's no yellow, so you don't see it going down with your eyes. But you are losing health. Sneaky. Oh, I've got a... I did get a different sword there, which is interesting. Hang on, I need to back off here. Let's not get carried away. I want all three swinging at me. So I can use a thing. Oh my god, how many fucking things are there? Let's just, uh, let's loot all the shit. <laughs> Roll, you fool! Roll! <laughs> and bombs tossed at my ass. I'm getting chased by fuckers. Like a lot of fuckers. I might have to, uh... Oh, God help me. This is my... This might be bad, yes. Ow! Um, I might have to do running attacks here. Like, repeated running attacks, maybe. Or at least light attacks. What a what a clusterfuck. Um, if I sprint, do they do a, do an attack and then not catch up to me? If you see what I'm saying. Oh no, they do. Right, they can hit you. Okay. Fucking hell! Calm down, would you? But that's good. I think that's that's the key. Light attack and then roll out. This might take me a while, folks. I, I forgive me. <sighs> I am I am doing a lot of damage though, even with my light attacks here. Dude, you sp when you start sprinting, you go for so much faster than the first game. That's actually great. Like you see, it does like a like a duck. A, a fast duck away at the start of the sprint, which is really good. Uh, I've got like four of these broken straight swords. It doesn't even matter. Oh yes, look at this! <laughs> Group attacks, mother... Ow. Motherfuckers. Let's not get carried away. Oh, ooh, very good, very good. Very good. Pat on the back. Oh, the camera is like fucking me in the ass here. Ow. I'm not hitting every single one of them. I am doing good, but let's not get fucking cam getting carried away here, have you noticed? Very good, very good. Another one dead, very good. Very good, but bad. Good, but bad. Good, but bad. Good, but bad. That's all this is, good, but bad. Fucking roll! Jesus Christ, there's a, right, there's a horrible delay after you use an item. Fuck you. That one's a bit tougher than the rest. Hmm. Have you noticed these these ones are like extra tough? I wonder if it's the armor. <laughs> Oops. Right, there's one left. I'm gonna use a life gem. 
They are a bit of a bonus, I'll be honest. Like a nice addition... Fuck. A nice addition to Esther's flasks. See, that was like perfect. Visually, that was pretty fucking perfect, was that parry. <laughs> Why not practice on this last fucker, eh? You see, that looks perfect to me. What the fuck? <laughs> Clearly I need to practice. Maybe maybe I should hit it the second I see this sword coming, regardless of visual timing. Do you see what I'm saying? So no, that didn't work. This is a waste of my life, gems, fuck it. Bring it on, motherfucker. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that was no different f to all my failed powers. Oh, he didn't kill him. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, I'm starting to get all your hollowed armor and shit, but I prefer my red awesome armor, I'll be honest. Even if it's worse. <laughs> Um. Ooh, I got a proper sword now. Um, 80, 80. Oh, way better. Way fucking better. And it's got some reach up. Look at this. Nice. Ooh, yes! That's going to be so much better. Um. That's what I got. Right, dog shit. Filth armor. Understood. Oh, we've got a little thing there, but before we go there, let's see if we can light this fucking thing. Uh, I guess you can... Somebody let me know in the comments what's the point of lighting little sconces. It's not like a bonfire you can rest at, so I don't really get the whole point. Unless it's just for comfort, you know? Can you jump to that? That that'll be one fucking. You must be able to, because there's that that is officially scenery. That's old school, like 2012 scenery that you can't get up there. So you must be able to just run and jump on here. Um. Oh god. Let's see how these guys died. <laughs> no 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 get off. Oh! Hello! Oh. Right, okay, they, they fell off and died. <laughs> okay, it's a thrust is the power attack, that's fantastic. Let me watch those again. Damn it. <laughs> well... I mean... I can see why he tried to run and jump. By the way, that's a death. He died. So this is if I fall here, this is death. But how else is he supposed to fucking get up there? Shall I try? No, no. Oh, it's fixed death. Okay. I hope no one sees my bloody pool on the floor, because that was embarrassing. Fucking you know. hell. Oh, I need to end the episode soon. That's a bit weird that that is just fixed death, but the height of that fall wasn't honestly particularly any problem. It wasn't that big a fall. It's just a fixed death to fuck you over. Get away, get away, I see you there. I'm gonna run past these ones, because I've just... I've killed them all before. And we're just going to grab my souls, and we're going to just run and jump for it. Now, are they back again? They are. Motherfuckers. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. I'm a fucking professional. I'm a fucking professional. I got a throwing knife and the soul of an arsehole. Okay. 
for the light attacks. Her nice and fast with her. Hollow shit. It was just a throwing knife and a regular salt, so it wasn't great, but it was a good practice for your running and your jumping. Are you kidding me? Go fuck yourself. Right, let's get the Estus flasks out. Oh, fucking hell, this is bad. Just, just fuck off! I can't, I can't, I can't! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. What the fuck? This is some bad shit, man. What the fuck? What the actual Jiminy Crickety fuck is going on here? Oh god. I might have no choice but to kill them all again. It will be easy now I've got a good weapon, like, but still. Oh, backstab. Oh, nice. But yeah, did you see that? I clicked to get on the ladder, but because it was in the way, it didn't let me climb on it, but I couldn't interact or attack or move or anything. I was, like, trapped. <laughs> Just staring at a ladder getting slapped in the face. Well, I've already got all this shit, so let's, um... Let me click on the fog door before going up the ladder. Oh god, come on! Come on now! Fuck you all. Oh my god, right, okay, that's a downgrade from the first game and Elden Ring. Once you interacted with your mist door in those games... Fucking hell, this sword is strong. Hey? I mean, fuck it. Are you kidding me? Fuck! Oh, bad, bad, bad. Just heal, 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 heal. Heal my ass. Right, yeah, in all the FromSoft games I've played so far, once you click on a door, you are invulnerable until you're on the other side. You can then get hit through it, but not when you're walking through it. I'm hoping this isn't a boss. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise I regret not going up first. Ooh. Until you tell me otherwise, I'll just read the messages. Fuck it. Hurrah for skeleton. I hear a growling. Be wary of it. I can hear the growling. Hello. There's an item down there. Anyway, what's in here first? Hello. Just enemies, I see. Well, if that's how you want to play it. Fucking hell, where did he come from? What the fuck? Oh, good dude, I've got enemies just... F Hang on, is this sword already, like, dead? Nearly. What the fuck? Well, I tell you what, this is a good opportunity to learn... It. To learn if once it is broken, then you can repair it. It did say that was possible. Although, hang on one second, it did say you've got to repair it first, but just resting at the fire, I think, fixes an unbroken one. And I don't know if I can repair, like, without the blacksmith or something, some progress. So I might want to take it off just for now. As good as a sword is. But that, that fucking durability vanished. Fucking hell. Is it because I died with it? Hello, back there. Wood bolt. Ooh. I don't think I've got a uh, ranged weapon yet. No. Those are arrows and those are bolts. Right, there must be crossbows and regular bows. I see. Hello there. Ooh, hang on. Hello! <laughs> I'd love an axe from one of these guys, I'll be honest. Fog wall is that just bullshit? It's bullshit, isn't it? It's always bullshit. It's always bullshit. I don't believe any of them. Oh, this one, this one feels tough. Fine with me.
Bad. Much bad. I can he see, Mr. Zombie. Fucking hell. Oh. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! What is this? Fuck you. And fuck you too. No. I'm hitting you, you are not hitting me. You little bastard. Fucking hell, man. Tough little shits. Tough, tricky little shits. Fucking boxes. Trolled by boxes. Right, what's this thing here? Oh. What's that say? Hole ahead. That. <laughs> Asshole. Yeah, uh, I'm, 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 I might have gone offline for the vast majority of the first game, but I know the sense of humor of all the kids that play these games. I get it. It's not a hole. It's a fucking hole. Dirty bastards. Dirty childish bastards. <laughs> oh, giggle. You know, I, I mean, this is getting some, to some serious shit here. Should I try climbing the outside ladder first? I think I should, because I, I feel like I'm committing to some serious shit by coming this way. Uh, can you all also do me a favour? This is a big one. Can you let me know if the game saves the same way it does in the first game, where you don't have to rest at a fire for the game's progress to save. It just saves every, like, five minutes or some shit. You get a little fire symbol. So I'm safe to quit on the spot, rather than having to go back to a fire. Um, now let's climb up here before anything else happens. Before all these fuckers attack me. And before any climb on my head as well, just climb up. Can you attack upwards? Are you- are you- are you- are you- are you- are you- Oh, this is not fair, is that? <laughs> Dude, I just got spit roasted on a fucking ladder. I've got one guy booting me in the face, <laughs> and I got another guy fucking clawing up at me from behind. What was I to do? You know, I need to end the episode. I'm really trying to stick to three hours and not get to four, so... Fate has spoken. <laughs> the first thing we'll do next time is uh, retrieve our shit. And yeah, I've got to clear all those fuckers in order to get up and down ladders, it seems. That seems to be a bit of a problem in this game so far. You have to clear all enemies before you are safe on a ladder, like in either direction. Enemies at the top, enemies beneath you, they just come after you and then they're booting you in the face. <laughs> right, thanks for joining me for this first episode of Dark Souls 2. Clearly we've got a lot to learn with parrying and adaptability that everyone's talking about. Um, uh, did you, honestly, because I pretty much know, I mean, I know it helps with, like, rolling, I think, and maybe parrying. Um, does putting points into adaptability help parrying at all, or is it just rolling and agility? It's Agility is the main thing that increases when you put points in, in that. And the, dis the help description doesn't really tell you anything, it just says it increases various stats. Mainly, it just looks to be agility. But if I look at agility, in fact, let's look real quick before we end the episode. If you actually look at it, it doesn't particularly, uh, I won't bite. <laughs> it doesn't particularly help you. Or does it? Let's just read the agility thing. Am I just being a billy bastard and not reading properly? See, just boosts ease of evasion and other actions. That sounds like rolling to me, but I, I'm curious how it helps, the rolling. Like, does it make you roll faster? Or does it make your iframes last longer during a roll? Or both? And, and it says, and other actions. That is so not helpful. <laughs> that is not helpful. What's that arrow up there? Required souls. Required number of souls to level up. Ah, that's nice. I can see that on the move. That's very nice. And what's that up there on the top right? Soul memory. Souls that once dwelled within the flesh will always remain in memory. So that's my total soul count across the entire game. 
kill. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've got a bonus to my attack. That's not that's not damage reduction, that's bonus to my attack. Uh dark, poison, bleed, lightning, right, left is attack, right is defense. I get it. Okay. Well, I've got a lot to learn. I hope you enjoyed my first uh, episode with this game. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I've only fought a couple of basic bitches, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've, I've faced no mighty ch challenges. Honestly, the biggest challenge I faced yet was probably those three little pigs. No bullshit. Their health pulls were crazy big. And they were just nibbling my feet like bastards. But yeah, I enjoyed it. We've got so much to learn. And we will in good time. I'll continue being as thorough as I can, reading every item. Um, I, I, have I missed any in this episode that are obvious, like, I need to read them? I don't think so. I think we've pretty much read everything. By the way, my sword shit came back. You notice that? That's a big fucking deal right there. Um, speaking of, what's the fucking durability? That would explain why it died so fast. It's that second from the bottom one, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah, there. Right, all my shit broken swords are 40. That new good one is only 20? No wonder it broke so fast. Okay. Maybe I can upgrade that or some shit. I'm wasting time. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And subscribe for similar content. All my social media links are over here. <laughs> Discord's the main place to be. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. And uh, yeah, the, the most recent thing I spent Patreon funds on was literally this game yesterday. And I installed it last night, so that's the sort of thing I spend my Patreon support on. Games and equipment and so on. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in episode two. Where we find out what's the top of the ladder of death. Yeah, I'm curious. I don't want to stop playing, by the way, if that's not clear. I just want to keep going. But these episodes get too prohibitively long to edit and upload and so on when they get too long, so I've got to stop. I'll catch you in episode two. Liquid Blitz. Out.